Nigeria, also known as the Giant of Africa, has a rich and diverse history that dates back thousands of years. From ancient kingdoms and empires to colonial rule and independence, the country has a fascinating past that has shaped its present-day culture and traditions. Before you delve into the vibrant cultures of various villages in Nigeria states, it's important to understand the historical context in which these traditions have developed. Nigeria was home to a number of powerful kingdoms and empires, such as the Nai Kingdom, the Benin Empire, and the Oyo Empire, which played a significant role in shaping the region's socio-political landscape. During the colonial era, Nigeria was under British rule, which had a lasting impact on the country's political, economic, and social structures. After gaining independence in 1960, Nigeria has experienced a turbulent history marked by military coups, civil unrest, and ethnic tensions. Despite these challenges, Nigeria remains a country rich in culture, with over 250 ethnic groups speaking more than 500 languages. Each village and community in Nigeria has its own unique traditions, customs, and practices that reflect the country's diverse heritage. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we take you on a journey through the cultures and traditions of various villages across Nigeria state. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Nigeria's rich cultural tapestry. We will stare with Osun State. Osun State, located in southwestern Nigeria, is known for its rich cultural heritage and vibrant traditions. The state is home to the Yoruba people, who have a long history of art, music, dance, and storytelling. One of the most famous cultural landmarks in Osun State is the Osun Asogbo Sacred Grove, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is dedicated to the Yoruba goddess of fertility, Osun. The people of Osun State celebrate various festivals and events throughout the year, including the Osun Asogbo Festival, which attracts visitors from all over the world. This festival is a display of traditional Yoruba culture, with colorful processions, music and dance performances, and rituals to honor the goddess Osun. In addition to the Osun Asogbo Festival, the people of Osun State also celebrate other cultural events such as the Alojo Festival in Isle Ife, the Oranmian Festival in Ife, and the Atagunmodi Festival in Atakunmosa West. These festivals showcase the unique customs and traditions of the Yoruba people in Osun State, making it a vibrant and culturally rich place to visit. Exploring the rich cultural tapestry of villages in Abuja. Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria, is not only known for its modern architecture and bustling city life, but also for its diverse villages that are home to various cultures and traditions. Each village in Abuja has its own unique identity, with rich histories and customs that have been passed down through generations. Let's take a closer look at some of these villages and the fascinating cultures and traditions that they uphold. The Vibrant Culture of Guagualada Village Guagualada Village is known for its vibrant culture and strong sense of community. The people of Guagualada take great pride in their traditional dances, music, and festivals, which are a celebration of their rich cultural heritage. One of the most popular festivals in Guagualada is the Argungu Fishing Festival, where villagers come together to fish in the river and compete for the biggest catch. This festival is a time of joy and camaraderie, where villagers bond over their shared love for their traditions. The Intriguing Traditions of Kuje Village Kuje village is steeped in tradition, with customs that have been preserved for centuries. One of the most intriguing traditions of Kuje village is the annual masquerade festival, where villagers dress up in elaborate costumes and masks to perform traditional dances and rituals. This festival is believed to bring good luck and prosperity to the village, and is a time of great excitement and anticipation for the villagers. The masquerade festival is a testament to the strong sense of cultural identity that the people of Kuje village hold dear. The Colorful Festivals of Bwari Village Bwari Village is known for its colorful festivals and lively celebrations. One of the most popular festivals in Bwari is the New Yam Festival, where villagers come together to give thanks for the harvest and pray for a bountiful year ahead. During this festival, villagers dress in traditional attire, perform traditional dances, and feast on delicious yam dishes. The New Yam Festival is a time of joy and abundance, where villagers come together to celebrate their shared culture and traditions. The rich history of Abaji village. Abaji village is steeped in history, with ancient traditions that have been passed down through generations. One of the most fascinating aspects of Abaji village is its oral history, which is preserved through storytelling and traditional songs. The villagers of Abaji take great pride in their history and heritage, and are eager to pass on their traditions to future generations. The rich history of Abaji village is a testament to the resilience and strength of its people 
who have overcome many challenges to preserve their cultural identity. The traditional crafts of Kuali Village. Kuali Village is known for its traditional crafts, which have been passed down through generations. The villagers of Kuali are skilled artisans, known for their pottery, weaving, and beadwork. One of the most famous crafts of Kuali Village is the traditional pottery, which is made using ancient techniques and designs. The pottery of Kuali is highly sought after for its beauty and craftsmanship, and is a source of pride for the villagers. The traditional crafts of Kuali Village are a reflection of the creativity and talent of its people, who continue to uphold the cultural traditions through their artistry. The Sacred Rituals of Karu Village Karu Village is known for its sacred rituals and spiritual practices, which are an integral part of the village's daily lives. One of the most important rituals in Karu Village is the annual harvest ceremony, where villagers give thanks to the gods for a successful harvest and pray for prosperity in the coming year. During this ceremony, villagers offer sacrifices and perform traditional dances to honor the spirits of the land. The harvest ceremony is a time of reverence and reflection, where villagers come together to connect with their ancestors and the natural world. The culinary delights of Kuali Village. Kuali Village is known for its culinary delights, with traditional dishes that are a feast for the senses. One of the most popular dishes in Kuali Village is the pounded yam and agusi soup, a hearty and flavorful meal that is a staple in the villagers diet. The people of Kuali take great pride in their cooking, using fresh ingredients and traditional recipes that have been passed down through generations. The culinary delights of Kuali village are a reflection of the village's love for good food and their commitment to preserving the cultural heritage through their cuisine. The festive celebrations of Guagualada village. Guagualada village is known for its festive celebrations and lively events, which bring the community together in joy and merriment. One of the most anticipated events in Guagualada is the annual cultural festival, where villagers showcase their traditional dances, music, and crafts. This festival is a time of celebration and unity, where villagers come together to honor their cultural heritage and strengthen their bonds with one another. The festive celebrations of Guagualada village are a testament to the villagers' love for their traditions and their commitment to preserving them for future generations. In conclusion, the villages in Abuja are a treasure trove of diverse cultures and traditions, each with its own unique identity and customs. From the vibrant culture of Guagualada village to the traditional crafts of Kuali village, each village in Abuja offers a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Nigerian heritage. By exploring these villages and learning about their cultures and traditions, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the beauty and diversity of Abuja's cultural landscape. Discover the fascinating cultures and traditions of villages in Abuja, from the vibrant culture of Guagualada village to the traditional crafts of Kuali village. Explore the rich history, culinary delights, and festive celebrations that make each village in Abuja a unique and vibrant community. Exploring the rich cultural heritage of villages in Adamawa state. Welcome to Adamawa state, a land of diverse cultures and traditions that have been preserved for generations in its charming villages. From the bustling markets of Mubi to the serene landscapes of Newman, each village in Adamawa state has its own unique culture that is worth exploring. Join us on a journey through some of the most fascinating villages in Adamawa state and discover the rich tapestry of traditions that make this state so special. Mubi, a melting pot of cultures. Mubi is a bustling town in Adamawa state that serves as a melting pot of cultures from across Nigeria and beyond. The town is known for its vibrant markets where you can find everything from traditional fabrics to delicious street food. The people of Mubi are friendly and welcoming, always ready to share their customs and traditions with visitors. Don't miss the opportunity to visit the Emir's Palace, where you can learn about the history of the town and its people. Newman, a serene oasis of tradition. Newman is a picturesque village in Adamawa state that is known for its serene landscapes and rich cultural heritage. The people of Newman are predominantly farmers, and their way of life is deeply rooted in the land. Take a stroll through the village and you will see women weaving baskets and men tending to their crops. The Newman people are known for their colorful festivals and traditional dances, which are a sight to behold. Don't miss the chance to try some of the local cuisine, which is sure to tantalize your taste buds. Gagne, a hidden gem of Adamawa state. Gagne is a hidden gem in Adamawa state that is often overlooked by tourists, but is well worth a visit for those looking to experience authentic village life. The people of Gagne are known for their intricate beadwork and traditional music, which are an important part of the cultural identity. Take a walk through the village and you will see women adorned in colorful beads and hear the sound of drums in the distance. 
The Ganye people are warm and welcoming, and will be happy to share their customs with you. Tungo, a cultural haven in Adamawa State. Tungo is a small village in Adamawa State that is a true cultural haven, with a rich history that dates back centuries. The people of Tungo are known for their traditional architecture, with mud huts and thatched roofs dotting the landscape. Take a tour of the village and you will see women weaving cloth on traditional looms and men carving intricate designs into wooden masks. The Tungo people are proud of their heritage and are eager to share it with visitors, so don't be shy about asking questions. Fufare, a vibrant village in Adamawa State. Fufare is a vibrant village in Adamawa State that is known for its lively markets and colorful festivals. The people of Fufare are skilled artisans, known for their intricate beadwork and traditional pottery. Take a stroll through the village and you will see women selling their wares in the market and children playing traditional games in the streets. The Fufare people are proud of their culture and are always happy to share it with visitors, so be sure to strike up a conversation with the locals. Guyuk, a quaint village in Adamawa State. Guyuk is a quaint village in Adamawa State that is known for its peaceful atmosphere and friendly residents. The people of Guyuk are predominantly farmers, and their way of life is centered around the land. Take a walk through the village and you will see men tending to their crops and women weaving baskets in the shade. The Guyuk people are known for their hospitality and will be happy to show you around their village, so don't hesitate to ask for a tour. Demsa, a cultural crossroads in Adamawa State. Demsa is a cultural crossroads in Adamawa State, where people from different tribes and backgrounds come together to celebrate their shared heritage. The people of Demsa are known for the colorful festivals and traditional dances, which are a feast for the senses. Take a stroll through the village and you will see women dressed in vibrant fabrics and men playing traditional instruments. The Demsa people are proud of their diverse culture and are always eager to share it with visitors, so be sure to join in the festivities. Shelling, a hidden treasure in Adamawa State. Shelling is a hidden treasure in Adamawa State that is waiting to be discovered by intrepid travelers. The village is known for its stunning landscapes and rich cultural heritage, with traditional architecture and vibrant markets that are a delight to explore. The people of Shelling are known for their intricate beadwork and traditional music, which are an important part of the cultural identity. Take a walk through the village and you will see women selling their crafts in the market and children playing traditional games in the streets. The Shelling people are warm and welcoming, and will be happy to share their customs with you. Adamawa State is a treasure trove of diverse cultures and traditions, with each village offering a unique glimpse into the rich tapestry of Nigerian heritage. From the bustling markets of Mubi to the serene landscapes of Newman, there is so much to explore and discover in this vibrant state. So pack your bags, hit the road, and immerse yourself in the fascinating cultures of Adamawa State. Discover the rich cultural heritage of villages in Adamawa State, from the bustling markets of Mubi to the serene landscapes of Newman. Join us on a journey through some of the most fascinating villages in Adamawa State and immerse yourself in the vibrant tapestry of Nigerian heritage. Exploring the rich cultures of villages in Bauchi State. Bauchi State, located in the northeastern part of Nigeria, is home to a diverse range of cultures and traditions. The villages in Bauchi State are known for their unique customs, beliefs, and practices that have been passed down through generations. In this blog post, we will take a closer look at some of the villages in Bauchi State and explore their respective cultures. The villages in Bauchi State are known for their unique customs, beliefs, and practices that have been passed down through generations. In this blog post, we will take a closer look at some of the villages in Bauchi State and explore their respective cultures. 1. Yankari Village Yankari Village is famous for its vibrant cultural festivals and traditional dances. The people of Yankari are known for their colorful attire and intricate beadwork. One of the most popular festivals in Yankari is the Durba Festival, where locals showcase their equestrian skills and perform traditional dances to the delight of spectators. 2. Tafawa Balewa Village Tafawa Balewa Village is known for its rich history and strong sense of community. The people of Tafawa Balewa are proud of their heritage and often gather for cultural events and celebrations. One of the most important traditions in Tafawa Balewa is the annual New Yam Festival, where villagers come together to give thanks for a bountiful harvest and pray for a prosperous year ahead. Free Bagoro Village Bagoro Village is renowned for its traditional pottery and weaving techniques. The women of Bagoro are skilled artisans who create beautiful pottery and woven baskets using age-old methods passed down from their ancestors. 
Visitors to Bogoro can witness these artisans at work and even purchase their handmade crafts as souvenirs. 4. Alkalari Village Alkalari Village is known for its unique architecture and traditional building techniques. The houses in Alkalari are made from locally sourced materials such as mud bricks and thatched roofs, giving the village a rustic and charming appearance. The people of Alkalari take great pride in their traditional homes and work together to maintain their cultural heritage. 5. Masao Village Masao Village is famous for its delicious cuisine and culinary traditions. The people of Masao are skilled in the art of cooking and use a variety of local ingredients to create flavorful dishes. One of the most popular dishes in Masao is the traditional Fura Da Nono, a nutritious snack made from millet and cow's milk that is enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. Das Village Das Village is known for its vibrant music and dance traditions. The people of Das are talented musicians and dancers who use drums, flutes, and other traditional instruments to create lively performances. Visitors to Das can experience these cultural performances firsthand and even join in the festivities to immerse themselves in the local culture. Eaters, Gadao Village. Eaters, Gadao Village is home to a unique blend of cultures and traditions. The people of Eaters, Gadao come from diverse backgrounds and have created a harmonious community where different customs and beliefs are celebrated. One of the most important traditions in Eaters, Gadao is the annual Unity Day celebration, where villagers come together to promote peace and unity among all residents. Ninji Village. Ninji Village is known for its traditional arts and crafts. The people of Ninji are skilled in woodworking, leatherworking, and other artisanal crafts that have been passed down through generations. Visitors to Ninji can explore local markets and shops to purchase handmade crafts and support the talented artisans of the village. Kerfi Village. Kerfi Village is famous for its colorful festivals and cultural performances. The people of Kerfi are known for their elaborate costumes and energetic dances that captivate audiences. One of the most popular festivals in Kerfi is the Argungu Fishing Festival, where villagers compete in traditional fishing competitions and celebrate their cultural heritage. The villages in Bauchi State are a treasure trove of diverse cultures and traditions that showcase the rich heritage of the region. From vibrant festivals to traditional crafts and culinary delights, each village offers a unique glimpse into the lives of its residents. By exploring these villages and experiencing their respective cultures, Visitors can gain a deeper appreciation for the history and traditions of Bauchi State. Discover the vibrant cultures of villages in Bauchi State, Nigeria, from traditional dances and festivals to artisanal crafts and delicious cuisine. Explore the rich heritage of this diverse region through its unique customs and traditions. Exploring the rich cultural diversity of villages in Bielsa State. Bielsa State, located in the southern part of Nigeria, is home to a plethora of villages each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the Ijo people to the Ogbia and Nembe tribes, the state is a melting pot of diverse cultures waiting to be explored. Join us as we take a closer look at some of the villages in Bielsa state and the rich cultural heritage they have to offer. The Ijo village of Oporoma, one of the most prominent villages in Bielsa state is Oporoma, home to the Ijo people. The Ijo culture is deeply rooted in the traditional beliefs and practices, with a strong emphasis on community and family ties. The people of Oporoma are known for their vibrant festivals, such as the Ogadigbo and Egbesu, which celebrate their history and heritage. Visitors to Oporoma can expect to be greeted with warm hospitality and a rich cultural experience that is sure to leave a lasting impression. The Nembe village of Tuan Brass, another village worth exploring in Bielsa State is Tuan Brass, home to the Nembe people. The Nembe culture is characterized by its colorful masquerades, traditional dances, and intricate beadwork. The people of Tuan Brass take great pride in their cultural heritage and are eager to share it with visitors. From the annual Obbakiri festival to the Ekine Sekiapu masquerade, there is no shortage of cultural events to experience in this vibrant village. The Obia village of Otuake. Otuake is a picturesque village in Bielsa state that is home to the Obia people. The Obia culture is known for its rich oral traditions, storytelling, and music. Visitors to Otuake can immerse themselves in the local culture by attending traditional ceremonies, such as the Iria festival, which celebrates the coming of age of young girls. The people of Otuake are known for their warm hospitality and welcoming nature, 
making it a must-visit destination for anyone interested in experiencing the diverse cultures of Bielsa State. The Brass Village of Okpoama. Okpoama is a charming village in Bielsa State that is home to the Brass people. The Brass culture is steeped in tradition, with a strong emphasis on respect for elders and communal living. Visitors to Okpoama can witness traditional ceremonies, such as the Iria Festival and the Ekine Sekiapu Masquerade, which showcase the rich cultural heritage of the Brass people. The village is also known for its vibrant music and dance performances, providing visitors with a truly immersive cultural experience. The Sigbama village of Toru Orua. Toru Orua is a quaint village in Bielsa state that is home to the Sigbama people. The Sigbama culture is characterized by its strong sense of community and respect for tradition. Visitors to Toru Orua can participate in traditional ceremonies, such as the Iria Festival and the Ekine Sekiapu Masquerade, which are integral parts of Sigbama culture. The village is also known for its intricate beadwork and traditional crafts, providing visitors with a unique glimpse into the artistic traditions of the Sigbama people. The Ekaremor village of Alibiri, Alibiri is a vibrant village in Bielsa state that is home to the Ekaremor people. The Ekaremor culture is known for its colorful festivals, such as the Ogadigbo and Egbesu, which celebrate the history and heritage of the Ekaremor people. Visitors to Alibiri can expect to be greeted with lively music and dance performances, as well as traditional ceremonies that showcase the unique cultural traditions of the Ekaremor people. The village is also known for its delicious cuisine, with local delicacies such as banga soup and plantain fufu being popular among visitors. The southern Ijor village of Peritorigbene, Peritorigbene is a picturesque village in Bielsa state that is home to the southern Ijor people. The southern Ijor culture is characterized by its strong sense of community and respect for tradition. Visitors to Peritorik Bene can witness traditional ceremonies, such as the Iria Festival and the Ekine Sekiapu Masquerade, which are integral parts of southern Ijor culture. The village is also known for its vibrant music and dance performances, providing visitors with a truly immersive cultural experience. The Yenagoa village of Pansia, Pansia is a bustling village in Bielsa state that is home to the Yenagoa people. The Yenagoa culture is known for its vibrant festivals, such as the Ogadigbo and Egbesu, which celebrate the history and heritage of the Yenagoa people. Visitors to Pansia can expect to be greeted with warm hospitality and a rich cultural experience that is sure to leave a lasting impression. The village is also known for its traditional crafts, such as beadwork and pottery, providing visitors with a unique glimpse into the artistic traditions of the Yenagoa people. Bielsa State is a treasure trove of diverse cultures, each with its own unique traditions and practices. From the Ijor people of Oporoma to the Nembe people of Tuan Brass, visitors to Bielsa State can expect to be immersed in a rich tapestry of cultural experiences. Whether you are interested in traditional ceremonies, vibrant festivals, or delicious cuisine, the villages of Bielsa State have something to offer everyone. So pack your bags and get ready to explore the rich cultural diversity of Bielsa State. Discover the vibrant cultures of villages in Bielsa State, from the Ijor people of Oporoma to the Nembe people of Tuan Brass. Immerse yourself in traditional ceremonies, vibrant festivals, and delicious cuisine as you explore the diverse cultural heritage of Bielsa State. Unveiling the hidden gems, exploring the rich cultural diversity of villages in Borno State. Borno State, located in northeastern Nigeria, is a region rich in cultural diversity and heritage. While many may associate the state with the Boko Haram insurgency, there is so much more to discover beyond the headlines. The villages in Borno State are a treasure trove of traditions, customs, and history waiting to be explored. The Vibrant Markets One of the best ways to experience the cultural diversity of Borno State is by visiting the vibrant markets in the villages. From colorful fabrics to intricate handicrafts, the markets are a feast for the senses. You can haggle with local vendors, sample traditional foods, and immerse yourself in the hustle and bustle of daily life. Traditional festivals and celebrations. The villages in Borno State are known for their rich tradition of festivals and celebrations. From the Durba Festival in Maiduguri to the Muna Festival in Mafa, each event is a unique opportunity to witness age-old customs and rituals. The colorful costumes, lively music, and spirited dances will leave you in awe of the cultural heritage of the region.
From the Durba Festival in Maiduguri to the Muna Festival in Mafa, each event is a unique opportunity to witness age-old customs and rituals. The colorful costumes, lively music, and spirited dances will leave you in awe of the cultural heritage of the region. Local cuisine and culinary delights. No exploration of cultural diversity is complete without sampling the local cuisine. In Borno State, you can savor dishes like suya, masa, and kilishi, each bursting with flavor and tradition. Whether you're dining in a roadside eatery or a family home, the hospitality of the locals will make your culinary experience unforgettable. Traditional architecture and heritage sites. The villages in Borno State are home to a wealth of architectural wonders and heritage sites. Whether you're dining in a roadside eatery or a family home, the hospitality of the locals will make your culinary experience unforgettable. Traditional architecture and heritage sites. The villages in Borno State are home to a wealth of architectural wonders and heritage sites. From the ancient city of Barma to the historic Kakawa Palace, each site tells a story of the region's rich history and culture. You can wander through narrow alleyways, marvel at intricate carvings, and learn about the traditions that have been passed down through generations. Local arts and crafts. Artisans in the villages of Borno State are known for their exquisite craftsmanship and attention to detail. From pottery and weaving to beadwork and leatherwork, the local arts and crafts are a testament to the creativity and skill of the people. You can watch artisans at work, purchase unique souvenirs, and support the local economy by investing in handmade goods. Traditional music and dance. Music and dance are integral parts of the cultural fabric of Borno State. From the rhythmic beats of the talking drum to the graceful movements of the Borno Ballet, each performance is a celebration of tradition and heritage. You can attend live performances, participate in dance workshops, and even learn a few steps yourself. Community engagement and volunteer opportunities, one of the best ways to immerse yourself in the rich cultural diversity of the villages in Borno State is by getting involved in community engagement and volunteer opportunities. Whether you're teaching English at a local school, helping with agricultural projects, or participating in cultural exchange programs, you'll have the chance to make a meaningful impact and forge lasting connections with the locals. Preserving and promoting cultural heritage. As you explore the villages in Borno State, it's important to remember the importance of preserving and promoting cultural heritage. By supporting local artisans, attending traditional festivals, and learning about the history of the region, you can help ensure that the rich cultural diversity of Borno State continues to thrive for generations to come. Discover the vibrant markets, traditional festivals, local cuisine, and more as you explore the rich cultural diversity of villages in Borno State. Immerse yourself in the traditions, customs, and history of this hidden gem in northeastern Nigeria. Exploring the rich cultural tapestry of villages in Gombe. Welcome to Gombe, a region in Nigeria known for its vibrant culture and diverse communities. In this blog post, we will take a closer look at the villages in Gombe and their respective cultures. From traditional dances to unique culinary traditions, each village has its own distinct identity that is worth exploring. The beauty of Kwame village. Kwame village is known for its rich history and traditional practices. The people of Kwame take great pride in their cultural heritage, which is evident in their colorful festivals and ceremonies. One of the most popular events in Kwame is the annual masquerade festival, where villagers don elaborate costumes and masks to celebrate their ancestors. Visitors to Kwame can also sample delicious local dishes, such as fufu and agusi soup, which are staples of the village's cuisine. The vibrant community of Duku. Duku village is a bustling community known for its lively music and dance performances. The people of Duku are passionate about their traditional music, which often features drums, flutes, and other instruments. Visitors to Duku can enjoy performances by local musicians and dancers, who showcase the village's unique cultural heritage. In addition to music and dance, Duku is also famous for its intricate beadwork and weaving, which are highly prized by collectors around the world. The serene charm of Kaltungo. Kaltungo village is a peaceful oasis known for its stunning natural beauty and tranquil atmosphere. The people of Kaltungo are deeply connected to the land, and many villages make a living through farming and agriculture. Visitors to Kaltungo can explore the village's lush forests and rolling hills, which are home to a wide variety of plant and animal species. Kaltungo is also known for its traditional healing practices, which involve the use of medicinal plants and herbs to treat a variety of ailments. The rich heritage of Baliri. 
Baliri village is steeped in history and tradition, with many ancient customs still practiced by its residents. The people of Baliri are known for their intricate wood carvings and pottery, which are highly sought after by collectors. Visitors to Baliri can watch local artisans at work, creating beautiful pieces that reflect the village's cultural heritage. In addition to art and craft, Baliri is also famous for its traditional storytelling, with elders passing down myths and legends to younger generations. The festive spirit of Balanga. Balanga village is a lively community known for its colorful festivals and celebrations. The people of Balanga are passionate about music and dance, and visitors to the village can enjoy performances by local musicians and dancers. One of the most popular events in Balanga is the annual harvest festival, where villagers come together to give thanks for a bountiful crop. Balanga is also known for its delicious cuisine with dishes such as suya and jollof rice being firm favorites among locals and visitors alike. The cultural melting pot of Funakaye. Funakaye village is a melting pot of cultures, with residents from various ethnic groups living side by side in harmony. The people of Funakaye celebrate their diversity through music, dance, and food, with each group contributing to the village's vibrant cultural scene. Visitors to Funakaye can sample a wide variety of dishes from different traditions, such as Tuo Shinkafa and Masa, which are popular among Hausa and Fulani communities. Funakaye is also known for its traditional wrestling matches, which draw crowds from far and wide. The traditional practices of Yamaltu. Yamaltu village is known for its traditional practices and customs, which have been passed down through generations. The people of Yamaltu are deeply connected to their ancestors, and many rituals and ceremonies are performed to honor them. Visitors to Yamaltu can witness traditional dances and performances that tell the stories of the village's history and culture. Yamaltu is also famous for its unique architecture, with many buildings featuring intricate carvings and designs that reflect the village's heritage. The artistic flair of Akko. Akko village is a hub of artistic creativity, with many residents pursuing careers in music, dance, and visual arts. The people of Akko are known for their vibrant street art and murals, which can be seen throughout the village. Visitors to Akko can explore galleries and studios showcasing the work of local artists, who draw inspiration from the village's natural surroundings and cultural traditions. Akko is also home to a thriving music scene, with live performances and concerts taking place regularly. The timeless traditions of Nafada. Nafada village is a place where time seems to stand still, with many ancient traditions and customs still practiced by its residents. The people of Nafada are deeply connected to the land, and many villages make a living through farming and agriculture. Visitors to Nafada can witness traditional ceremonies and rituals that have been passed down through generations, such as the annual planting festival. Nafada is also known for its traditional crafts, with artisans creating beautiful pottery and textiles that reflect the village's cultural heritage. In conclusion, the villages in Gombe are a treasure trove of cultural riches, each offering a unique glimpse into the traditions and practices of its residents. From music and dance to art and craft, there is something for everyone to enjoy in these vibrant communities. So why not pack your bags and embark on a journey of discovery through the villages of Gombe? Discover the diverse cultures of villages in Gombe, Nigeria, from traditional dances to unique culinary traditions. Explore the beauty of Kwame, the vibrancy of Duku, the serenity of Kaltungo, and more in this in-depth blog post. Exploring the rich cultural tapestry of villages in Jigawa State. Jigawa State, located in northern Nigeria, is home to a diverse array of villages, each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the bustling markets of Hidegia to the serene beauty of Guri, these villages offer a glimpse into the rich history and heritage of the region. Join us as we take a closer look at some of the most fascinating villages in Jigawa State and explore their respective cultures. Hidegia, a hub of trade and tradition. Hidegia is one of the largest and most vibrant villages in Jigawa State, known for its bustling markets and rich cultural heritage. The town is famous for its traditional dye pits, where artisans create intricate tie-dye fabrics using age-old techniques. Visitors can also explore the Hidegia Emirate Palace, a stunning example of traditional Hausa architecture, and sample local delicacies at the town's many street food stalls. Guri, a serene oasis of culture. Guri is a picturesque village nestled along the banks of the Hidegia River, known for its tranquil beauty and rich cultural traditions. 
The village is home to the Guri Dam, a major source of irrigation for the surrounding farmland, as well as the Guri Rock Paintings, a series of ancient rock art sites that offer a glimpse into the region's prehistoric past. Visitors can also experience traditional Guri dances and music performances, which are an integral part of the village's cultural identity. Kazawa, a historical gem. Kazawa is a historic village in Jigawa state, known for its ancient ruins and archaeological sites. Very intelligent because all of them I met, eh, they are extremely neat. This kind of person gave brain. Mm -hmm. Visitors can also experience traditional Guri dances and music performances, which are an integral part of the village's cultural identity. Kazawa, a historical gem. Kazawa is a historic village in Jigawa state, known for its ancient ruins and archaeological sites. The town is home to the Kazawa Emirate Palace, a stunning example of traditional Hausa architecture, as well as the Kazawa Museum, which houses a collection of artifacts dating back to the pre-colonial era. Visitors can also explore the nearby Kazawa Hills, a series of rocky outcrops that offer breathtaking views of the surrounding countryside. Burnin Kudu, a cultural crossroads. Burnin Kudu is a vibrant village in Jigawa State, known for its diverse population and rich cultural heritage. The town is home to the Burnin Kudu Emirate Palace, a majestic structure that serves as the seat of the local traditional ruler, as well as the Burnin Kudu Museum, which showcases a wide range of artifacts and exhibits related to the region's history and culture. Visitors can also explore the town's bustling markets, where they can sample local delicacies and purchase traditional handicrafts. Dutse, the capital of culture. Dutse is the capital city of Jigawa State and a major cultural hub in the region. The city is home to the Dutse Emirate Palace, a grand structure that serves as the seat of the local traditional ruler, as well as the Dutse Museum, which houses a collection of artifacts and exhibits related to the region's history and heritage. Visitors can also explore the city's vibrant markets, where they can sample local cuisine and purchase traditional handicrafts. Kiyawa, a hidden gem. Kiyawa is a charming village in Jigawa State, known for its picturesque scenery and rich cultural traditions. The town is home to the Kiyawa Emirate Palace, a beautiful example of traditional Hausa architecture, as well as the Kiyawa Pottery Center, where visitors can watch local artisans create intricate pottery using traditional techniques. Visitors can also explore the town's lush farmland and rolling hills, which offer breathtaking views of the surrounding countryside. Garki, a cultural melting pot. Garki is a diverse village in Jigawa State, known for its vibrant mix of cultures and traditions. The town is home to the Garki Emirate Palace, a stunning example of traditional Hausa architecture, as well as the Garki Cultural Center, which hosts a variety of events and performances showcasing the region's rich cultural heritage. Visitors can also explore the town's bustling markets, where they can sample local delicacies and purchase traditional handicrafts. Babura, a quaint village with a rich history. Babura is a quaint village in Jigawa State, known for its peaceful atmosphere and rich historical heritage. The town is home to the Babura Emirate Palace, a beautiful structure that serves as the seat of the local traditional ruler, as well as the Babura Museum, which houses a collection of artifacts and exhibits related to the region's history and culture. Visitors can also explore the town's lush gardens and scenic countryside, which offer a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of city life. The villages of Jigawa State offer a fascinating glimpse into the region's rich cultural heritage, from the bustling markets of Hidegia to the serene beauty of Guri. Whether you're interested in exploring ancient ruins, sampling traditional cuisine, or simply soaking up the local atmosphere, there's something for everyone to enjoy in these vibrant communities. So why not plan a visit to Jigawa State and experience the unique cultures of its diverse villages for yourself? Discover the diverse cultures of villages in Jigawa State, from the bustling markets of Hidegia to the serene beauty of Guri. Explore ancient ruins, traditional handicrafts, and local cuisine in these vibrant communities. Exploring the rich cultures of villages in Kano State. Welcome to Kano State, a land of vibrant cultures and traditions that have been preserved for generations in its numerous villages. From the bustling markets of Kano City to the serene villages scattered throughout the state, each community has its own unique customs and practices that make it truly special. 
Join us as we take a closer look at some of the most fascinating villages in Kano State and delve into the rich tapestry of cultures that make this region so unique. The Colorful Festivals of Kura Village One of the most vibrant villages in Kano State, Kura Village is known for its colorful festivals that celebrate the rich history and traditions of the community. From the annual Durba Festival, where locals showcase their equestrian skills and traditional attire, to the lively music and dance performances that take place throughout the year, Kura Village is a hub of cultural activity. Visitors to the village can immerse themselves in the sights and sounds of these festivals, sampling local delicacies and crafts while learning about the customs that have been passed down through generations. The Traditional Crafts of Guazo Village Nestled in the heart of Kano State, Guazo Village is a treasure trove of traditional crafts and artisanal skills that have been honed over centuries. From intricate weaving and pottery to vibrant dyeing techniques and leatherwork, the villages of Guazo are renowned for their craftsmanship and attention to detail. Visitors to the village can watch skilled artisans at work, learning about the techniques and traditions that have been preserved through the ages. Be sure to pick up a handmade souvenir to take home as a memento of your visit to this cultural hub. The culinary delights of Rano Village No visit to Kano State would be complete without sampling the delicious cuisine that the region is famous for, and Rano Village is the perfect place to indulge in a culinary adventure. From hearty soups and stews to flavorful rice dishes and grilled meats, the villages of Rano take pride in their traditional recipes and use locally sourced ingredients to create mouth-watering dishes. Visitors can join in a cooking class to learn how to prepare these authentic meals, or simply sit back and enjoy a feast prepared by the talented chefs of the village. Don't forget to try the local specialty, Fura Da Nono, a refreshing drink made from fermented milk and millet that is a favorite among locals. The Ancient Architecture of Bichi Village Stepping into Bichi Village is like stepping back in time, as the community is home to some of the most well-preserved examples of ancient architecture in Kano State. From mud brick houses with intricately carved wooden doors to towering mosques with ornate domes and minarets, the village is a testament to the craftsmanship and ingenuity of its inhabitants. Visitors can take a guided tour of the village to learn about the history and significance of these architectural marvels, marveling at the skill and artistry that went into their construction. Be sure to bring your camera to capture the beauty of Bichi Village and its timeless structures. The Musical Traditions of Samila Village Music is an integral part of the cultural heritage of Kano State, and Samila Village is a hub of musical activity where locals gather to celebrate their traditions through song and dance. From traditional drumming and percussion to melodic string instruments and vocal performances, the villages of Samila showcase their musical talents with pride. Visitors can join in a drumming workshop to learn the rhythms and beats that form the backbone of the village's musical traditions, or simply sit back and enjoy a live performance under the stars. Don't be surprised if you find yourself tapping your feet and clapping along to the infectious rhythms of Samila Village. The Festive Spirit of Takai Village Takai Village is known for its festive spirit and lively celebrations that bring the community together in a spirit of joy and camaraderie. From weddings and naming ceremonies to religious festivals and cultural events, the villagers of Takai take every opportunity to celebrate their traditions and customs. Visitors to the village can join in the festivities, sampling local delicacies and participating in traditional dances and rituals that have been passed down through generations. Be sure to bring your dancing shoes and a hearty appetite to fully immerse yourself in the festive atmosphere of Takai Village. The Traditional Attire of Babeji Village The villages of Babeji take great pride in their traditional attire, which is a reflection of their cultural heritage and identity. From colorful wrappers and embroidered blouses to intricately woven headscarves and beaded jewelry, the people of Babeji are known for their distinctive style and attention to detail. Visitors to the village can watch skilled artisans at work, creating these beautiful garments using traditional techniques and patterns that have been handed down through the ages. Be sure to pick up a piece of traditional attire as a souvenir of your visit to Babeji village, and wear it with pride to celebrate the rich cultural heritage of Kano state. The time-honored customs of Shanono village. Shanono village is steeped in time-honored customs and traditions that have been preserved through the generations, providing a glimpse into the rich history of Kano state. From elaborate wedding ceremonies and coming-of-age rituals to religious observances and community gatherings, the villagers of Shanono take great care to uphold these customs and pass them on to future generations. Visitors to the village can witness these traditions firsthand, learning about the significance and symbolism behind each ritual and celebration. 
Be sure to engage with the locals and ask questions to gain a deeper understanding of the customs that shape the cultural landscape of Shanono village. The warm hospitality of Kibiya village. Last but certainly not least, Kibiya village is known for its warm hospitality and welcoming spirit that make visitors feel like part of the community from the moment they arrive. From the moment you set foot in the village, you will be greeted with smiles and open arms, as the villages of Kibiya are known for their kindness and generosity. Whether you are invited to share a meal with a local family, participate in a traditional ceremony, or simply chat with the villagers about their lives and traditions, you will be treated with the utmost respect and care. Be sure to reciprocate this hospitality by showing your gratitude and appreciation for the warm welcome you receive in Kibiya village. In conclusion, the villages of Kano state are a treasure trove of cultures and traditions that have been preserved through the ages, providing a glimpse into the rich history and heritage of the region. From colorful festivals and traditional crafts to culinary delights and ancient architecture, each village offers a unique experience that will leave a lasting impression on visitors. So pack your bags, put on your walking shoes, and get ready to embark on a cultural journey through the villages of Kano State that will open your eyes to the beauty and diversity of this fascinating region. Discover the vibrant cultures and traditions of villages in Kano State, from colorful festivals and traditional crafts to culinary delights and ancient architecture. Join us on a cultural journey through the rich tapestry of customs and practices that make this region so unique. Title, Exploring the Rich Cultures of Villages in Katsina State. Katsina State, located in northern Nigeria, is home to a diverse array of villages each with its own unique culture and traditions. From colorful festivals to traditional dances, the villages in Katsina State offer a glimpse into the rich heritage of the region. Join us as we take a closer look at some of the most fascinating villages and their cultures in Katsina State. The vibrant festivals of Katsina State, one of the most captivating aspects of the villages in Katsina State is their vibrant festivals. These festivals are a celebration of the community's history, beliefs, and values. From the Durba Festival in Katsina City to the Argungu Fishing Festival in Argungu, each village has its own unique way of celebrating its culture. Traditional dances and music, Music and dance play a significant role in the culture of the villages in Katsina State. Traditional dances such as the Bori dance and the Ghani dance are performed during festivals and special occasions. The rhythmic beats of the drums and the colorful costumes worn by the dances create a mesmerizing spectacle that is sure to leave a lasting impression. The art of pottery and weaving, the villages in Katsina State are known for their skilled artisans who practice the ancient crafts of pottery and weaving. Pottery is a traditional art form that has been passed down through generations, with each piece telling a story of the village's history. Similarly, weaving is a cherished tradition that produces beautiful textiles and clothing that are unique to each village. Culinary delights of Katsina State. No exploration of the villages in Katsina State would be complete without sampling the local cuisine. From delicious dishes such as Tuo Shinkafa and Mian Kuka to refreshing drinks like Kunu, the culinary delights of Katsina State are sure to tantalize your taste buds. The use of fresh, locally sourced ingredients and traditional cooking methods make the food in Katsina State truly special. Traditional attire and adornments, the people of the villages in Katsina State take great pride in their traditional attire and adornments. From colorful fabrics and intricate beadwork to elaborate hairstyles and jewelry, the traditional dress of the villages is a reflection of the cultural identity. Each piece of clothing and accessory has its own significance and is worn with pride during special occasions. The importance of storytelling. Storytelling is an integral part of the culture of the villages in Katsina State. Elders pass down oral histories and folk tales to the younger generations, preserving the traditions and values of the community. These stories are not only entertaining but also serve as a way to educate and instill important lessons in the listeners. Traditional architecture and building techniques. The villages in Katsina State are known for their unique architecture and building techniques. Traditional mud houses with thatched roofs are a common sight in the villages, blending seamlessly with the natural landscape. The use of locally sourced materials and sustainable building practices ensure that the villages remain in harmony with their surroundings. Celebrating unity and community spirit, above all, the villages in Katsina State are a testament to the unity and community spirit of the people. Whether coming together to celebrate a festival or lending a helping hand to a neighbor in need, the villages in Katsina State value the importance of togetherness and solidarity. This sense of community is what makes the villages in Katsina State truly special.
Discover the vibrant cultures of the villages in Katsina State, Nigeria, from colorful festivals to traditional dances and culinary delights. Explore the rich heritage and traditions of this fascinating region. The history of the people of Banu dates back thousands of years to when various ethnic groups began to settle in the region. The area that is now known as Banu State in Nigeria is home to a diverse range of ethnicities, including the Tiv, Adoma, and the Gede people, among others. The Tiv people are one of the largest ethnic groups in Banu State, known for their farming traditions and intricate social structure. They are believed to have migrated to the region around the 17th century, and have since established themselves as one of the dominant groups in the area. The Adoma people, who also inhabit Banu State, have a long history in the region as well. They are known for their rich cultural heritage, including traditional art, music, and dance. The Adoma people are believed to have migrated to the region hundreds of years ago, and have maintained their unique customs and traditions. The Agede people, another ethnic group in Banu State, have a similar history of migration and settlement in the region. They are known for their strong sense of community and traditional beliefs, which are reflected in their social structure and customs. Throughout history, the people of Banu have faced various challenges, including conflicts with neighboring tribes, colonization by European powers, and more recent issues such as political unrest and internal conflicts. However, despite these challenges, the people of Banu have managed to preserve their rich cultural heritage and traditions, and continue to thrive in the region to this day. The history of the Tiv people of Banu state is a complex and intricate tale that stretches back for centuries. The Tiv are one of the largest ethnic groups in Banu State, known for their farming traditions, social structure, and cultural practices. The origins of the Tiv people are shrouded in mystery, but it is believed that they migrated to the Banu region around the 17th century. The Tiv people are traditionally agrarian, relying on farming as their primary means of sustenance. They are known for their skill in agriculture, particularly yam cultivation, and have a deep connection to the land. The Tiv people have a rich oral tradition that tells of their migration from the east, likely from the Congo Basin area. They settled in the fertile plains of the Banu Valley, where they established a complex social structure based on family units known as kindred. These kindreds are organized into larger groups called clans, which are led by traditional leaders known as chiefs. The Tiv people have a strong sense of cultural identity, which is reflected in the traditional music, dance, and art. They have a unique system of rites, rituals, and practices that govern various aspects of their lives, including marriage, birth, death, and initiation ceremonies. The Tiv people have also faced their share of challenges throughout history, including conflicts with neighboring ethnic groups, colonization by European powers, and more recently, internal violence and political unrest. Despite these challenges, the Tiv people have managed to preserve their cultural heritage and traditions, and continue to play a vital role in the cultural landscape of Banu State and Nigeria as a whole. The Adoma people are one of the major ethnic groups in Banu State, Nigeria. They have a rich history that dates back centuries and have made significant contributions to the cultural and social fabric of the region. The origins of the Adoma people are not definitively known, but it is believed that they migrated to the Banu Valley area from various regions around the 15th century. The Adoma people are primarily agrarian, relying on farming as their main source of livelihood. They are known for their cultivation of crops such as yams, cassava, and millet. The Adoma people have a strong sense of cultural identity, which is reflected in the traditional customs, arts, and beliefs. They have a complex social structure based on extended families and clans, with each clan having its own chief or traditional ruler. These rulers play a central role in maintaining the social order and resolving disputes within the community. The Adoma people have a rich oral tradition that includes myths, legends, and folklore that have been passed down through generations. They also have a unique system of rites, rituals, and ceremonies that govern important life events such as birth, marriage, and death. Throughout history, the Adoma people have faced various challenges, including conflicts with neighboring ethnic groups, colonization by European powers, and more recent issues such as political unrest and internal conflicts. Despite these challenges, the Adoma people have managed to preserve their cultural heritage and traditions, and continue to thrive in the region. Today, the Adoma people are known for their vibrant cultural festivals, traditional music and dance performances, and for their strong sense of community and identity. 
they play a crucial role in the social, economic, and political life of Banu State and Nigeria as a whole. The Tiv people of Banu State in Nigeria have a complex social structure based on a system of villages, clans, and tribes. Here is an overview of how this social organization is structured. 1. Villages. The Tiv people are organized into villages, which serve as the fundamental unit of their social structure. Each village is typically made up of several extended families living in close proximity to each other. Villages are often named after prominent landmarks or features in the area, and they serve as centers of community life. Each village has its own chief or traditional ruler who oversees the affairs of the village and resolves disputes within the community. 2. Clans. Villages are grouped into larger units called clans. Clans are made up of several villages that share common ancestry, history, and cultural practices. Clans are important for building social networks, maintaining cultural traditions, and providing a sense of belonging to the TIF people. Each clan is led by a clan head or paramount chief who is responsible for representing the clan in traditional matters and acts as a unifying figure for the villages within the clan. 3. Tribes. The TIF people are further organized into tribes, which are larger regional groupings of clans and villages. Tribes are composed of several clans that are linked by historical and cultural ties. Each tribe is typically associated with a particular geographic region within Banu State. The TIF tribes interact with each other for social, economic, and political purposes, and often come together for festivals, ceremonies, and community events. Overall, the system of villages, clans, and tribes among the TIF people reflects the strong sense of community, identity, and social organization that has been passed down through generations. This system serves to maintain the rich cultural heritage of the TIF people and fosters a sense of unity and belonging among the different groups within the community. The Adoma people of Banu State in Nigeria also have a structured social organization that includes villages, towns, clans, and tribes. Here is an overview of how the Adoma social structure is organized. 1. Villages and towns. The Adoma people are traditionally organized into villages and towns, with each community serving as a distinct unit of settlement and social organization. Villages are usually smaller communities made up of extended families, while towns are larger settlements with a higher population density and more developed infrastructure. Villages and towns are often named after prominent landmarks, historical figures, or key features in the area. 2. Clans. Within the Adoma social structure, villages and towns are grouped into larger units known as clans. Clans are made up of several villages or towns that share common ancestry, cultural practices, and historical ties. Each clan is led by a clan head or paramount chief who acts as a traditional ruler and represents the interests of the clan members. Clans play an important role in maintaining cultural traditions, resolving disputes, and fostering a sense of community among the Adoma people. 3. Tribes. The Adoma people are further organized into tribes, which are larger regional groupings of clans and communities. Tribes among the Adoma people are typically associated with specific geographic regions within Banu State and consist of several clans that are linked by common ancestry and cultural heritage. Each tribe has its own unique customs, traditions, and social structures that distinguish it from other tribes within the Adoma ethnic group. Overall, the social structure of the Adoma people reflects a strong sense of community, identity, and cultural pride. The system of villages, towns, clans, and tribes serves to maintain the rich heritage of the Adoma people, foster intercommunity relationships, and ensure the continuation of traditional practices and values within the society. The Vandakia people are a subgroup of the Tiv ethnic group located in Banu State, Nigeria. They are often referred to as Vandakia Tiv, or Tiv Vandakia, to distinguish them from other TIF subgroups. The Vandakia people have their own unique cultural practices, language dialect, and social organization that sets them apart within the broader TIV ethnic group. The Vandakia people are known for their strong ties to the land and agriculture, with farming being a primary occupation for many in the community. They cultivate a variety of crops such as yams, cassava, millet, and maize, which play a significant role in their diet and economy. In addition to farming, the Vandakia people also engage in other economic activities such as fishing, hunting, and trade. The Vandakia people have a rich oral tradition, with storytelling, music, and dance playing important roles in their cultural heritage. They have unique rituals, ceremonies, and festivals that mark important life events and celebrate their cultural identity.
These events often involve traditional clothing, music, food, and dance that showcase the distinctiveness of Vandekia culture. Within the Vandekia community, there is a system of social organization that includes village chiefs, clan heads, and traditional rulers who play key roles in maintaining social order, resolving disputes, and representing the community in local governance. These traditional leaders are respected figures within the community and are responsible for upholding Vandekia traditions and customs. Like many ethnic groups in Nigeria, the Vandekia people have faced challenges such as land disputes, economic hardship, and social change. However, they have worked to preserve their cultural heritage and maintain a strong sense of identity as Vandekia Tiv. The Vandekia people continue to play an important role in the social, economic, and political life of Banu State, contributing to the rich diversity and cultural tapestry of the region. The Tiv people are predominantly located in Banu State, Nigeria, and are spread across several local government areas, LGAs, within the state. Here is a list of the local government areas in Tiv land in Banu State. 1. GWA West Local Government Area Located in the western part of Banu State, GWA West LGA is home to various Tiv communities. 2. GWA East Local Government Area GWA East LGA is another local government area in Banu State that has a significant Tiv population. 3. Guma Local Government Area Guma LGA is one of the LGAs in Banu State with a notable presence of Tiv people. 4. Logo Local Government Area Logo LGA is also populated by Tiv communities and is an important area in Tiv land. 5. Bukum Local Government Area Bukum LGA is another local government area in Banu State where Tiv people reside. 6. Katsina Ala Local Government Area Katsina Ala LGA is home to Tiv communities and is located in Tiv land. 7. Konshisha Local Government Area Konshisha LGA is another local government area with a significant Tiv population. These local government areas in Tiv land in Banu State are important administrative units where various Tiv communities are located. The Tiv people play a significant role in the cultural, social, economic, and political life of these areas, contributing to the rich tapestry of Banu State's diversity and heritage. In Banu State, Nigeria, the Adoma people are predominantly located in different local government areas, LGAs, within the state. Here is a list of the local government areas in Adoma land in Banu State. 1. Atukpo Local Government Area Atukpo LGA is a significant area in Adoma land and is home to many Adoma communities. 2. Ohamini Local Government Area Ohamini LGA is another local government area in Banu State with a significant population of Adoma people. 3. Ogbadibo Local Government Area Ogbadibo LGA is also populated by Adoma communities and is an important area in Adoma land. 4. Agatu Local Government Area Agatu LGA is another local government area in Banu State where the Adoma people reside. 5. Arpa Local Government Area Arpa LGA is an area in Banu State that also has a presence of Adoma communities. 6. Okpokwu Local Government Area Okpokwu LGA is another local government area in Banu State where the Adoma people are prominently found. These are some of the local government areas in Adoma land in Banu State, Nigeria, where the Adoma people have their cultural heritage and communities. The Atukpo people are a subgroup of the Adoma ethnic group in Banu State, Nigeria. Atukpo is a prominent town and local government area in Banu State, and the people from this area have a rich cultural heritage and history. Here are some key points about the Atukpo people. 1. Language and culture. The Atukpo people, like the broader Adoma group, speak the Adoma language. Their cultural practices, traditional dances, clothing, and ceremonies are an integral part of their identity. 2. Occupation. Historically, the Atukpo people were primarily farmers, growing crops such as yam, cassava, and rice. Agriculture remains a key occupation for many Atukpo residents, although some have also diversified into other professions. 3. Leadership and Governance The traditional leadership structure in Atukpo is headed by a paramount ruler known as the Okatukpo, who serves as the traditional king of the area. The Okatukpo plays a significant role in preserving and promoting the cultural heritage of the Atukpo people. 
4. Education and development. In recent years, there has been a growing emphasis on education and development in Atukpo, with efforts to improve access to schools and healthcare facilities in the area. 5. Festivals and celebrations. The Atukpo people celebrate various festivals and ceremonies to mark important milestones in their lives, honor their ancestors, and promote unity within the community. These events often feature traditional music, dance, and cultural displays. Overall, the Atukpo people are known for their warmth, hospitality, and strong sense of community. They continue to uphold their traditions while embracing modernity and progress in a rapidly changing world. The Adoma people are an ethnic group predominantly found in Banu State, Nigeria, with a population totaling over 1 million. They have a rich history that encompasses various aspects of their culture, tradition, and societal organization. Here is an overview of the history of the Adoma people of Nigeria. 1. Origins and Migration The exact origins of the Adoma people are subject to different theories and oral traditions. Some accounts suggest that the Adoma people migrated from the Nile Valley region in East Africa, while others believe they originated from the Nok civilization or the Congo Basin. Theories aside, the Adoma people are known to have migrated over time, settling in their present-day locations in Banu State. 2. Settlement and Kingdoms The Adoma people are traditionally organized into clans and communal settlements known as Ichama. These settlements are typically led by clan heads and elders who govern the community. Historically, the Adoma people also had several powerful dynasties and kingdoms, such as the Okidoma ruling over the Adoma people as a paramount traditional ruler. 3. Agricultural Heritage Agriculture has always been central to the way of life of the Adoma people. They are known for their expertise in cultivating crops such as yam, cassava, millet, rice, and vegetables. The annual New Yam Festival, Igbe, is a significant cultural event celebrated by the Adoma people to mark the harvest season. 4. Social Structure and Traditions the Adoma people have a structured social organization with age grades, initiation rites, and other cultural practices that define their societal order. Marriage customs, storytelling, music, dance, and masquerades are essential aspects of their cultural heritage. 5. Colonial Era and Integration During the colonial period, the Adoma people, like many other ethnic groups in Nigeria, were impacted by British colonial rule. This period brought changes to their political structure, economic activities, and social norms. After Nigeria gained independence in 1960, the Adoma people have actively participated in the nation's political, social, and economic spheres. The history of the Adoma people is a story of resilience, cultural pride, and adaptation to changing circumstances. They continue to maintain the traditions while embracing modernity and contributing to the diverse tapestry of Nigerian society. The Alekwu culture is a significant aspect of the traditional practices and beliefs of the Adoma people of Nigeria. Alekwu refers to a traditional religious practice of the Adoma people that is centered around ancestral worship and spiritual communication with the spirit world. Here is a brief overview of the history and practices of the Alekwu culture of the Adoma people. 1. Ancestral worship. The Alekwu culture revolves around the veneration of ancestors, who are believed to have a continued presence and influence in the lives of the living. Ancestors are revered for their wisdom, protection, and guidance, and rituals are performed to honor and communicate with them. 2. Spiritual communication. The Adoma people believe that the spirits of their ancestors can communicate with them through various mediums, such as dreams, visions, oracles, and divination. A designated priest or diviner, known as the Alekwu, serves as the intermediary between the living and the spirit world. 3. Rituals and Ceremonies Rituals and ceremonies play a crucial role in the Alekwu culture. Special ceremonies are conducted to appease the spirits, seek their blessing, and address various personal or communal issues. Offerings, sacrifices, chants, and dances are common elements of these rituals. 4. Role of the Alekwu Priest the Alekwu priest or diviner serves as a religious and spiritual leader within the community. They are responsible for interpreting the messages from the spirits, offering guidance and advice, and conducting rituals on behalf of the community members. 5. Cultural significance. The Alekwu culture is deeply rooted in the cultural identity of the Adoma people. It reflects their beliefs, values, and worldview, as well as their connection to their ancestors and the spirit world. The practice of Alekwu continues to be observed alongside Christianity and Islam, which are also prevalent in Adoma society today.
Overall, the Alekwu culture is an integral part of the traditional heritage of the Adoma people, and it serves as a means of preserving their spiritual beliefs, cultural practices, and ancestral connections. Atukpa is a town located in Banu State, Nigeria, and it is predominantly inhabited by the Adoma people. The cultural heritage of Atukpa is deeply rooted in the traditions and customs of the Adoma ethnic group. Here is an overview of the Atukpa culture in Banu State. 1. Traditional beliefs and practices. The people of Atukpa, like the broader Adoma community, have rich traditional beliefs and practices that shape their way of life. They have a strong sense of kinship, respect for elders, and reverence for their ancestors. Traditional rituals, ceremonies, and festivals are important aspects of their cultural heritage. 2. Kinship system. The Adoma people, including those in Atukpa, have a well-defined kinship system that governs social relationships and obligations within the community. Family ties are highly valued, and descent is traced patrilineally, with lineage and clan systems playing a crucial role in organizing society. 3. Language and art. The Adoma language is spoken in Atukpa, with various dialects and expressions that reflect the cultural nuances of the community. Traditional arts and crafts, such as pottery, weaving, beadwork, and wood carving, are also prevalent in the culture of Atukpa and are often used for both utilitarian and decorative purposes. 4. Festivals and Celebrations The Adoma people of Atukpa celebrate various festivals and rites of passage that mark important milestones in their lives. The Atukpa Yam Festival is a prominent cultural event that celebrates the harvest season and showcases the importance of yam in the community's livelihood and cultural identity. 5. Traditional Governance The traditional leadership structure in Atukpa and other Adoma communities is typically organized around traditional rulers, chiefs, and council of elders who play key roles in governance. Conflict Resolution and Decision-Making Processes these traditional institutions uphold the customs and norms of the community. 6. Cuisine and Hospitality The cuisine of Atukpa and the broader Adoma culture is characterized by staple foods such as yam, cassava, millet, and various soups and stews. Hospitality is a significant aspect of the culture, and guests are warmly received and treated with respect. Overall, the Atukpa culture in Banu State reflects the rich heritage, traditions, and customs of the Adoma people, emphasizing their strong sense of community, pride in cultural identity, and connection to their ancestral roots. Orokum is a town in Banu State, Nigeria, and it is home to the Orokum people, who are predominantly of the Adoma ethnic group. The Orokum people have a rich cultural heritage that reflects their unique customs, traditions, and way of life. Here are some key aspects of the Orokum people's culture in Banu State. 1. Language and Communication The Orokum people predominantly speak the Adoma language, which is a part of the larger Banu Congo language family. The Adoma language is an important aspect of the cultural identity and is used for communication within the community. 2. Traditional Beliefs and Practices the Orokum people, like other Adoma communities, have traditional religious beliefs and practices that are centered around ancestral worship, spiritual rituals, and sacrifices. They believe in the existence of spirits and the importance of maintaining a harmonious relationship with the spirit world. 3. Festivals and Celebrations The Orokum people celebrate various cultural festivals and ceremonies that are deeply rooted in their traditions. These festivals often include colorful dances, music, masquerades, and feasting. Examples of popular Adoma festivals include the Atukpo Yam Festival and the Imam Festival. 4. Arts and Crafts The Orokum people are known for their artistic skills and craftsmanship. They engage in traditional arts and crafts such as pottery, basket weaving, beadwork, and wood carving. These artistic expressions not only serve as a source of livelihood but also help preserve their cultural heritage. 5. Social organization. The Orokum people have a well-defined social structure and kinship system that governs their interactions within the community. Respect for elders, communal solidarity, and mutual support are important values in Orokum society. 6. Food and cuisine. The Orokum people have a diverse culinary tradition that reflects their agricultural heritage. Staples of their diet include yam, cassava, millet, corn, and vegetables. Traditional dishes such as pounded yam, agusi soup, and akara are commonly enjoyed in Orokum households. Overall, the Orokum people's culture in Banu State is a vibrant and diverse tapestry of traditions, customs, and practices that reflect their deep-rooted connection to their history, spirituality, and community.
Awukpa is a town in Banu State, Nigeria, predominantly inhabited by the Adoma people. Alekwu is a traditional religious practice among the Adoma people, encompassing various aspects of their culture, beliefs, and rituals. Here are some insights into Awukpa culture and the significance of Alekwu. 1. Awukpa culture. As part of the broader Adoma ethnic group, the people of Awukpa have a rich cultural heritage that includes traditional customs, ceremonies, festivals, music, dance, and art. They have a strong sense of community, respect for elders, and adherence to traditional values. 2. Alekwu. Alekwu is a traditional religious practice among the Adoma people, including those in Awukpa. It is a belief system that centers on the worship of ancestral spirits and deities, with rituals performed to honor and communicate with these spiritual entities. Alekwu practices often involve sacrifices, ceremonies, and divination to seek guidance, protection, and blessings from the spirits. Overall, the practice of Alekwu is deeply ingrained in the cultural and spiritual fabric of the Awukpa community, serving as a vital link to their heritage and collective identity as a Doma people. Igwamale is a town in the Okpokwu local government area of Banu State, Nigeria. The Igwamale people are a subgroup of the Adoma ethnic group, which is one of the largest ethnic groups in Banu State. Here are some key aspects of the Igwamale people's culture. 1. Agriculture. Like many other communities in Banu State, the Igwamale people are predominantly farmers. Agriculture, particularly the cultivation of crops such as yams, cassava, maize, and rice, forms the economic backbone of the community. 2. Traditional beliefs and practices. The Igwamale people, like other Adoma communities, have a rich tapestry of traditional beliefs and practices. They believe in a supreme being and also venerate ancestral spirits. Traditional ceremonies, rituals, and festivals are an integral part of their cultural heritage. 3. Language. The Igwamale people predominantly speak the Adoma language, which is a part of the Niger-Congo language family. The language is an essential component of the cultural identity and is used for communication within the community. 4. Social structure. The Igwamale people have a strong sense of community and kinship ties. Families are central to their social structure, and roles and responsibilities are often defined by age and gender within the family unit. 5. Art and craft. The Igwamale people are known for their artistic skills, particularly in pottery, weaving, and traditional crafts. These skills are passed down through generations and are highly valued for their cultural and utilitarian significance. Overall, the Igwamale people have a vibrant culture that reflects their deep connection to the land, traditions, and values that have been passed down through generations. 1240, the Edamoga people are an ethnic subgroup of the Adoma people in Banu State, Nigeria. They are predominantly found in the Okpokwu local government area of Banu State. The Edamoga people have a unique culture and heritage that distinguishes them within the broader Adoma ethnic group. Here are some key aspects of the Edamoga people's culture. 1. Traditional beliefs and practices. The Edamoga people, like other Adoma communities, hold traditional beliefs and practices in high regard. They believe in a supreme being and also worship ancestral spirits. Traditional ceremonies, rituals, and festivals play a significant role in their cultural life. 2. Agriculture. Agriculture is a fundamental aspect of the Edamoga people's way of life. They engage in the cultivation of crops such as yams, cassava, maize, and rice. Farming is a primary source of livelihood for many families in the community. 3. Language. The Edamoga people predominantly speak the Adoma language, which serves as a unifying factor among the various Adoma subgroups. The language plays a crucial role in preserving and passing down the cultural heritage and traditions to future generations. 4. Traditional festivals. The Edamoga people celebrate various traditional festivals throughout the year. These festivals are marked by colorful ceremonies, dances, music, and feasting, and serve as occasions for community bonding and cultural expression. Overall, the Edamoga people have a rich cultural heritage that encompasses their traditional beliefs, practices, social organization, and artistic expressions, which reflect the unique identity within the larger Edoma ethnic GROK Poga is the Headquarters of the Okpokwu local government area in Banu State, Nigeria. The town is predominantly inhabited by the Adoma people, who are one of the major ethnic groups in the state. The Okpoga people, like other Adoma communities, have a rich cultural heritage and traditional practices that define their way of life. Here are some key aspects of the Okpoga people's culture. 1. Agriculture. 
Agriculture is a mainstay of the Okpoga people's economy. They engage in the cultivation of crops such as yams, cassava, maize, rice, and vegetables. Farming serves as a primary source of livelihood for many families in the community. 2. Traditional beliefs and practices. The Okpoga people, like other Adoma subgroups, hold traditional beliefs and practices in high esteem. They believe in a supreme being and also venerate ancestral spirits. Traditional ceremonies, rituals, and festivals form an integral part of their cultural identity. 3. Language. The Okpoga people predominantly speak the Adoma language, which is a unifying factor among the various Adoma subgroups. The language plays a crucial role in preserving and passing down the cultural heritage and traditions to subsequent generations. 4. Traditional festivals. The Okpoga people celebrate a variety of traditional festivals that are marked by colorful ceremonies, dances, music, and feasting. These festivals serve as opportunities for community bonding, cultural expression, and the preservation of their heritage. Overall, the Okpoga people have a diverse and vibrant culture that encompasses their traditional beliefs, practices, social norms, and artistic expressions. Their cultural heritage plays a significant role in shaping their identity and fostering a sense of belonging within the community. The Agede people are one of the major ethnic groups in Banu State, Nigeria. They are predominantly found in Oju local government area and parts of Obi and Adu local government areas of the state. The Agede people are known for their rich cultural heritage, which includes colorful traditional festivals, dances, music, and art forms. The Agede people are mainly farmers, known for cultivating crops such as yam, cassava, maize, and vegetables. They are also skilled in fishing, hunting, and livestock rearing. Traditional ways of life such as farming, pottery, cloth weaving, and blacksmithing are still practiced by some members of the community. The Agede people have a strong sense of community and are organized into clans and kin groups. They have a traditional monarch, known as the Okiidoma, who plays a significant role in the socio-political organization of the community. The Agede people speak the Agede language, which is a dialect of the Adoma language. However, many also speak English and Pidgin English as a means of communication. In recent years, the Agede people have faced challenges such as poverty, lack of basic infrastructure, and clashes with neighboring communities. Efforts are being made by the government and non-governmental organizations to address these challenges and improve the living conditions of the Agede people. The Agede people are primarily located in Oju local government area in Banu State, Nigeria. Oju local government area is predominantly inhabited by the Agede people and is one of the local government areas in Banu State. Oju Town is the headquarters of the local government area. In addition to Oju local government area, the Agede people also have a presence in parts of Obi and Adu local government areas in Banu State. These areas are inhabited by a mix of different ethnic groups, but the Agede people have significant populations in these local government areas as well. Overall, the Agede people are predominantly concentrated in Oju local government area, where they have significant cultural and political influence. The local government areas where the Agede people reside are known for their agricultural activities, traditional festivals, and warm hospitality. The Agede people of Banu State, Nigeria, have a rich and vibrant culture that is characterized by colorful traditional practices, festivals, music, dance, and art forms. Here are some aspects of Agede culture. 1. Traditional festivals. The Agede people celebrate various traditional festivals throughout the year to mark significant events and seasons. The most prominent of these festivals is the Agede New Yam Festival, known as Agede Agba. This festival is a celebration of the bountiful harvest season and is marked by feasting, dancing, music, and cultural displays. 2. Dance and music. Dance and music are integral parts of Agede culture. The Agede people have unique traditional dances that are performed at festivals, ceremonies, and social gatherings. The music is often accompanied by traditional instruments such as drums, flutes, and gongs. 3. Traditional attire. The Agede people have distinct traditional attire that is worn during important ceremonies and events. Women often wear wrappers, blouses, and headscarves, while men wear wrappers or trousers with shirts. Traditional beads, hats, and accessories are also commonly worn. 4. Cuisine. The Agede people have a rich culinary tradition that includes a variety of delicious dishes made from locally sourced ingredients. Common foods include pounded yam, vegetable soups, roasted yams, and cassava-based dishes like akpu and fufu. 
5. Arts and Crafts The Agede people are known for their artistic skills in pottery, weaving, beadwork, and wood carving. Traditional arts and crafts are used for both utilitarian and decorative purposes and reflect the cultural identity of the Agede people. 6. Social organization. The Agede society is organized into clans and kinship groups, with traditional leadership structures headed by chiefs and village heads. Traditional arts and crafts are used for both utilitarian and decorative purposes and reflect the cultural identity of the Agede people. 6. Social organization. The Agede society is organized into clans and kinship groups, with traditional leadership structures headed by chiefs and village heads. These leaders play important roles in decision-making, conflict resolution, and community development. 7. Spiritual Beliefs The Agede people have a rich spiritual tradition that involves the worship of ancestors, deities, and spirits. <laughs> Traditional religious practices, rituals, and ceremonies are an integral part of the Agede people's cultural identity. Overall, the Agede culture is a unique blend of tradition, innovation, and resilience, reflecting the rich history and heritage of the Agede people. The Agede, Adoma, and Tiv people are three major ethnic groups in Banu State, Nigeria, each with its unique cultural practices, language, and traditions. Here are some key differences that set them apart. 1. Language. The Agede people speak the Agede language, an Idomoid language that is distinct from the languages spoken by the Adoma and Tiv people. The Adoma people speak the Adoma language, which belongs to the Akwaya subgroup of the Idomoid languages. The Tiv people speak the Tiv language, which is a Niger-Congo language belonging to the Bantoid group. 2. Cultural practices. While all three ethnic groups have agricultural backgrounds and engage in farming as a primary occupation, they have distinct cultural practices. For example, the Agede people are known for their colorful traditional festivals such as the Agede New Yam Festival, the Adoma people celebrate the Atukpo and Agula festivals, and the Tiv people have festivals like Iviviwiki and Yam Festival. 3. Traditional Governance Each ethnic group has its form of traditional governance. The Adoma people are organized into clans and have a traditional council of elders known as the Okidoma. The Tiv people have a traditional political system led by the Tor Tiv, who is the paramount ruler of the Tiv people. The Agede people traditionally have a monarch known as the Okidoma, who plays a significant role in the community. 4. Settlement Patterns The Agede people are predominantly found in Oju local government area, whereas the Adoma people are concentrated in areas such as Atukpo, Adu, and Okpokwu. The Tiv people have a larger geographical spread and are found in various parts of Banu State. 5. Art and Craft Each ethnic group has unique art and craft traditions. The Agede people are known for their pottery, cloth weaving, and wood carving. The Adoma people are skilled in bead making and pottery. The Tiv people are famous for their intricate calabash carvings, traditional dance masks, and pottery. While the Agede, Adoma, and Tiv people share some similarities due to their geographical proximity and historical interactions, they each have distinct cultural identities that set them apart. Ugbukolo is a town in a Du local government area of Banu State, Nigeria. The people of Ugbukolo are primarily from the Adoma ethnic group, one of the major ethnic groups in Banu State. Here are some details about the people of Ugbukolo. 1. Ethnicity. The people of Ugbukolo are predominantly Adoma who are known for their rich cultural heritage, traditional practices, and strong sense of community. The Adoma people have a unique language, cuisine, music, dance, and traditional beliefs that distinguish them from other ethnic groups in the region. 2. Occupation The people of Ugbukolo are primarily engaged in agriculture, with farming being the main occupation. They cultivate crops such as yam, cassava, maize, and vegetables for subsistence and commercial purposes. Fishing and trading are also common economic activities in the town. 3. Traditional Practices The people of Ugbukolo have traditional practices and cultural rituals that are passed down from generation to generation. These include marriage ceremonies, burial rites, and traditional festivals that are observed to commemorate important events and seasons. 4. Religion The people of Ugbukolo are predominantly Christians, with Catholicism being one of the dominant religious denominations in the town. In addition to Christianity, traditional beliefs and practices are also upheld by some residents. 5. Education. Ugbukolo is home to several schools, including primary and secondary schools, as well as tertiary institutions. Education is highly valued in the community, and efforts are made to ensure that children have access to quality education.
6. Social life. The people of Ugbukolo are known for their hospitality and strong community ties. Social gatherings, festivals, and events play an important role in community life, providing opportunities for people to come together, celebrate, and interact. Overall, the people of Ugbukolo, like other Adoma communities, have a deep connection to their cultural roots and traditions while also embracing modernity and development. Ikedemoga is a town in Okpokwu local government area of Banu State, Nigeria. The Obotu people are one of the ethnic groups in Ikedemoga, and they have a unique cultural heritage and traditional practices that distinguish them within the larger community. Here are some details about the Obotu people in Ikedemoga. 1. Ethnicity. The Obotu people are primarily from the Adoma ethnic group, which is one of the major ethnic groups in Banu State. The Adoma people are known for their rich cultural heritage, traditional practices, and strong sense of community. The Obotu people share many cultural similarities with other Adoma groups while also maintaining their distinct identity within Ikedemoga. 2. Occupation. The Obotu people are primarily engaged in agriculture, with farming being the main occupation. They cultivate crops such as yam, cassava, maize, and vegetables for subsistence and commercial purposes. Fishing and trading are also common economic activities in the community. 3. Traditional practices. The Obotu people have traditional practices and cultural rituals that are passed down from generation to generation. These practices include marriage ceremonies, burial rites, traditional festivals, and ceremonies to commemorate significant events and seasons. These traditional practices are an integral part of the Obotu people's cultural identity. 4. Religion. The Obotu people are predominantly Christians, with Catholicism and various Protestant denominations being the dominant religious beliefs in the community. In addition to Christianity, traditional beliefs and practices are also upheld by some residents. 5. Education. Ikedemoga, including the Obotu community, has several schools, including primary and secondary schools, as well as educational institutions. Education is valued in the community, and efforts are made to ensure that children have access to quality education. 6. Social life. The Obotu people, like other communities in Ikedemoga, are known for their hospitality and strong community ties. Social gatherings, festivals, and events are essential aspects of community life, providing opportunities for people to come together, celebrate, and interact. In summary, the Obotu people in Ikedemoga have a unique cultural identity within the larger Adoma community, with a deep connection to their cultural heritage, traditional practices, and strong community bonds. The Ugboju people are predominantly from the Adoma ethnic group and are located in the Atukpo local government area of Banu State, Nigeria. The Ugboju people have a rich cultural heritage that is reflected in their traditional practices, language, customs, and social organization. Here are some details about the Ugboju people and their culture. 1. Language. The Ugboju people speak the Adoma language, which is a Banu Congo language belonging to the Niger Congo language family. The Adoma language has several dialects, including the dialect spoken by the Ugboju people, which may have slight variations in pronunciation and vocabulary. 2. Occupation. The Ugboju people are primarily engaged in agriculture, with farming being the main occupation. They cultivate crops such as yam, cassava, maize, millet, and vegetables for subsistence and commercial purposes. Fishing, hunting, and trading are also common economic activities in the community. 3. Traditional practices and cultural festivals, the Ugboju people have a rich tradition of cultural practices and festivals that are celebrated throughout the year. These festivals are occasions for community members to come together, socialize, celebrate, and honor their ancestors. Traditional dances, songs, and rituals are performed during these festivals. 4. Marriage and family, marriage is an essential aspect of Ugboju culture, and traditional marriage rites are performed according to customary practices. The family plays a central role in Ugboju society, with strong kinship ties and respect for elders being fundamental values. The extended family system is prevalent, with families living in close proximity and providing support to one another. 5. Religion. The majority of Ugboju people are Christians, with Catholicism and various Protestant denominations being the dominant religious beliefs in the community. Traditional beliefs and practices also coexist alongside Christianity with some residents observing traditional rituals and ceremonies. 6. Social life. The Ugboju people are known for their hospitality, warmth, and strong community bonds. 
Social gatherings, communal activities, and traditional ceremonies play an important role in their social life, providing opportunities for people to connect, share experiences, and strengthen community ties. 7. Education. The Ugboju community values education, and efforts are made to ensure that children have access to quality education. Schools, both primary and secondary, are available in the area to cater to the educational needs of the community. Overall, the Ugboju people of Banu State have a vibrant culture that is characterized by their strong community ties, traditional practices, and respect for cultural heritage. Their cultural traditions, language, and customs are integral parts of their identity and contribute to the rich tapestry of the Adoma ethnic group. Adoka is a town in a Tukpo local government area of Banu State, Nigeria. The people of Adoka are predominantly from the Adoma ethnic group, which is one of the major ethnic groups in Banu State. Here are some details about the Adoka people and their culture. 1. Ethnicity. The people of Adoka are primarily Adoma people, who are known for their rich cultural heritage, traditional practices, and strong sense of community. The Adoma people have a unique language, cuisine, music, dance, and traditional beliefs that distinguish them from other ethnic groups in the region. 2. Occupation. The people of Adoka are predominantly engaged in agriculture, with farming being the main occupation. They cultivate a variety of crops such as yam, cassava, maize, and vegetables for subsistence and commercial purposes. Fishing and trading are also common economic activities in the town. 3. Traditional practices. The people of Adoka have traditional practices and cultural rituals that are passed down from generation to generation. These include marriage ceremonies, burial rites, and traditional festivals that are observed to commemorate important events and seasons. The Adoma people are known for the colorful traditional attire and intricate beadwork during cultural celebrations. 4. Religion. The people of Adoka are predominantly Christians, with Catholicism being one of the dominant religious denominations in the town. In addition to Christianity, traditional beliefs and practices are also upheld by some residents. 5. Education. Adoka is home to several schools, including primary and secondary schools, as well as tertiary institutions. Education is highly valued in the community, and efforts are made to ensure that children have access to quality education. 6. Social life. The people of Adoka are known for their hospitality and strong community ties. Social gatherings, festivals, and events play an important role in community life, providing opportunities for people to come together, celebrate, and interact. Overall, the people of Adoka, like other Adoma communities, maintain a balance between preserving the cultural traditions and embracing modernity and development. Their cultural richness and strong sense of community continue to define the identity and heritage of the Adoka people in Banu State. Adoka is a town in a Tukpo local government area of Banu State, Nigeria. The people of Adoka are predominantly from the Adoma ethnic group, which is one of the major ethnic groups in Banu State. Here are some details about the Adoka people and their culture. 1. Ethnicity. The people of Adoka are primarily Adoma people, who are known for their rich cultural heritage, traditional practices, and strong sense of community. The Adoma people have a unique language, cuisine, music, dance, and traditional beliefs that distinguish them from other ethnic groups in the region. 2. Occupation. The people of Adoka are predominantly engaged in agriculture, with farming being the main occupation. They cultivate a variety of crops such as yam, cassava, maize, and vegetables for subsistence and commercial purposes. Fishing and trading are also common economic activities in the town. 3. Traditional practices. The people of Adoka have traditional practices and cultural rituals that are passed down from generation to generation. These include marriage ceremonies, burial rites, and traditional festivals that are observed to commemorate important events and seasons. The Adoma people are known for the colorful traditional attire and intricate beadwork during cultural celebrations. These include marriage ceremonies, burial rites, and traditional festivals that are observed to commemorate important events and seasons. The Adoma people are known for the colorful traditional attire and intricate beadwork during cultural celebrations. 4. Religion. The people of Adoka are predominantly Christians, with Catholicism being one of the dominant religious denominations in the town. In addition to Christianity, traditional beliefs and practices are also upheld by some residents. 5. Education. Adoka is home to several schools, including primary and secondary schools, as well as tertiary institutions. 
Education is highly valued in the community, and efforts are made to ensure that children have access to quality education. 6. Social life. The people of Adoka are known for their hospitality and strong community ties. Social gatherings, festivals, and events play an important role in community life, providing opportunities for people to come together, celebrate, and interact. Overall, the people of Adoka, like other Adoma communities, maintain a balance between preserving their cultural traditions and embracing modernity and development. Their cultural richness and strong sense of community continue to define the identity and heritage of the Adoka people in Banu State. The Oju people are predominantly from the Adoma ethnic group and are located in the Oju local government area of Banu State, Nigeria. The Oju people have a rich cultural heritage that is reflected in their traditional practices, language, customs, and social organization. Here are some details about the Oju people and their culture. 1. Ethnicity. The Oju people are primarily from the Adoma ethnic group, which is one of the major ethnic groups in Banu State. The Adoma people have a unique cultural heritage, traditional practices, and strong sense of community. The Oju people share many cultural similarities with other Adoma groups while also maintaining their distinct identity within the Oju area. 2. Occupation. The Oju people are primarily engaged in agriculture, with farming being the main occupation. They cultivate crops such as yam, cassava, maize, and vegetables for subsistence and commercial purposes. Fishing and trading are also common economic activities in the community. 3. Traditional practices. The Oju people have traditional practices and cultural rituals that are passed down from generation to generation. These practices include marriage ceremonies, burial rites, traditional festivals, and ceremonies to commemorate significant events and seasons. These traditional practices are an integral part of the Oju people's cultural identity. 4. Religion. The Oju people are predominantly Christians, with Catholicism and various Protestant denominations being the dominant religious beliefs in the community. In addition to Christianity, traditional beliefs and practices are also upheld by some residents. 5. Education. The Oju area has several schools, including primary and secondary schools, as well as educational institutions. Education is valued in the community, and efforts are made to ensure that children have access to quality education. 6. Social life. The Oju people, like other communities in Adoma land, are known for their hospitality and strong community ties. Social gatherings, festivals, and events are essential aspects of community life, providing opportunities for people to come together, celebrate, and interact. In summary, the Oju people in Banu State have a unique cultural identity within the larger Adoma community, with a deep connection to their cultural heritage, traditional practices, and strong community bonds. The Agede Agba are the elders or senior citizens within the Agede community of Banu State, Nigeria. The term Agba is derived from the Yoruba language and is widely used in Nigeria to refer to elders or respected individuals within a community. In the context of the Agede people, the Agede Agba are considered to be the custodians of traditional wisdom, knowledge, and values, and they play a crucial role in the social, political, and cultural life of the community. The Agede Agba are highly respected for their experience, wisdom, and guidance, and they often serve as advisors to the traditional rulers, community leaders, and the younger generation. They are responsible for upholding and promoting the cultural heritage and traditions of the Agede people, ensuring that the customs and values of the community are preserved and passed down to future generations. The Agede Agba are often involved in decision-making processes within the community, and their opinions and counsel are highly valued in matters concerning community development, conflict resolution, and social cohesion. They are also actively engaged in mediating disputes, providing leadership in times of crisis, and promoting unity and harmony among community members. In addition to their roles as advisors and leaders, the Agede Agba are also responsible for organizing and participating in important cultural events, ceremonies, and rituals that are integral to the social fabric of the Agede community. They play a key role in maintaining the social order, promoting respect for traditional values, and ensuring the well-being of the community as a whole. Overall, the Agede Agba are essential figures within the Agede community, serving as the pillars of strength, wisdom, and tradition. Their contribution to the preservation and promotion of the cultural heritage and values of the Agede people is highly valued and respected by the community at large. The Agede Ambani is a title or position of traditional leadership among the Agede people of Banu State, Nigeria.
The Agede are a prominent ethnic group in Banu State known for their rich cultural heritage, traditional practices, and strong sense of identity. The Agede Ambani plays a significant role in the traditional governance and leadership structure of the Agede community. The Agede people, like many other ethnic groups in Nigeria, have a chieftaincy system that is made up of various traditional titles and positions of authority. The Agede Ambani, also known as the Agede King, or Agede Paramount Ruler, is one of the highest traditional titles in the Agede traditional leadership hierarchy. The Agede Ambani is typically a highly respected individual chosen from among the noble families of the Agede community. The position is often hereditary, passing down through generations within a particular ruling dynasty or noble lineage. The Agede Ambani is responsible for providing leadership, maintaining peace and order, resolving disputes, and upholding traditional customs and values within the Agede community. The Agede Ambani is regarded as the custodian of the cultural heritage and traditions of the Agede people, and plays a pivotal role in fostering unity and progress within the community. The Agede Ambani is expected to command respect, wisdom, and authority, and to act as a representative of the Agede people both within the community and in interactions with other traditional rulers and government authorities. Overall, the Agede Ambani holds a special place in the hearts of the Agede people, serving as a symbol of unity, tradition, and continuity within the community. The position of Agede Ambani is a revered and prestigious role that embodies the history, culture, and values of the Agede people. I apologize for the confusion in my previous response. The Ichama people in Okpokwu, Banu State, are a subset of the Adoma ethnic group, known for their cultural heritage, traditions, and social organization. Here are some details about the Ichama people specifically in Okpokwu, Banu State. 1. Location. Ichama is a community within the Okpokwu local government area of Banu State, Nigeria. The community is situated in a rural area with fertile land suitable for agriculture, a primary occupation of the residents. 2. Occupation. Similar to other Adoma communities, the Ichama people in Okpokwu primarily engage in farming as their main source of livelihood. They cultivate crops such as yam, cassava, maize, millet, and vegetables. Fishing and trading are also common economic activities in the area. 3. Culture. The Ichama people in Okpokwu have a rich cultural heritage that is reflected in their traditional practices, language, customs, and social organization. They observe traditional ceremonies, festivals, and rituals to celebrate significant events and seasons, emphasizing the importance of preserving their cultural identity. 4. Religion. The Ichama people in Okpokwu, like many communities in Banu State, are predominantly Christian, with Catholicism and various Protestant denominations being the dominant religious beliefs. Traditional beliefs and practices may also coexist alongside Christianity in the community. 5. Social structure. The Ichama people in Okpokwu maintain strong community ties, with social gatherings, festivals, and events playing a significant role in community life. Respect for elders, communal solidarity, and mutual support are important values within the community. 6. Education. Efforts are made to ensure that children in the Ichama community in Okpokwu have access to quality education. The community has schools, including primary and secondary schools, as well as educational facilities that cater to the educational needs of the residents. In summary, the Ichama people in Okpokwu, Banu State, are a subset of the larger Adoma ethnic group, known for their agricultural activities, cultural traditions, religious beliefs, and strong community bonds. They embody a rich cultural heritage that reflects their identity and history. The Atobi people are an ethnic group who reside in the Banu North Senatorial District of Banu State, Nigeria. Here are some details about the Atobi people of Banu. 1. Location. The Atobi people primarily inhabit the Atobi town in the Agatu local government area of Banu State. They are part of the diverse ethnic groups that make up the population of the state. 2. Occupation. Agriculture is the primary occupation of the Atobi people. Location. The Atobi people primarily inhabit the Atobi town in the Agatu local government area of Banu State. They are part of the diverse ethnic groups that make up the population of the state. 2. Occupation. Agriculture is the primary occupation of the Atobi people. They engage in farming activities such as the cultivation of crops like yam, cassava, maize, millet, and vegetables. Fishing is also a common economic activity due to the proximity of the community to rivers. 3. Language and culture. The Atobi people have their language, 
which is part of the wider Adoma language family spoken in Banu State. Their culture is characterized by traditional practices, music, dance, and festivals that celebrate important events and seasons. 4. Social Structure the Atobi community has a traditional social structure based on age-grade systems, family ties, and communal values. Elders are respected for their wisdom and experience, and they play key roles in decision-making and conflict resolution within the community. 5. Religion. Christianity is the dominant religion among the Atobi people, with Catholicism and various Protestant denominations being the main Christian faiths observed. Traditional beliefs and practices may also coexist with Christianity in the community. 6. Education. Education is valued within the Atobi community, and efforts are made to ensure that children have access to quality schooling. The community has schools, including primary and secondary institutions, to cater to the educational needs of the residents. 7. Community life. The Atobi people place importance on community ties, cooperation, and solidarity. Social gatherings, festivals, and events serve as avenues for interaction, bonding, and the preservation of cultural practices within the community. In summary, the Atobi people of Banu State are a unique ethnic group with a rich cultural heritage, agricultural way of life, traditional social structure, and strong community values. They contribute to the diversity and cultural tapestry of the state through their customs, language, and traditions. I'm sorry for any misunderstanding. However, to the best of my knowledge, there isn't a specific Atobi community located in Banu State in Nigeria. Two, Ugbikpo. Ugbikpo is a prominent village located near Atobi in the Agatu area, known for its agricultural activities. Three, Egba. Egba is another community in the Agatu local government area, located in proximity to Atobi. 4. Ashigbudu. Ashigbudu is a village situated within the Agatu local government area and is known for its farming activities. 5. Iga. Iga is a community in the Agatu area near Atobi, with a population engaged in agriculture and other economic activities. Please note that the list provided is not exhaustive, and there are more villages and communities within the Agatu local government area of Banu State. Each village has its unique characteristics and plays a vital role in the cultural and socio-economic life of the region. The Atonkan people are an ethnic group in Banu State, Nigeria, known for their rich cultural heritage, agricultural practices, and communal way of life. Here is some information about the Atonkan people of Banu State. 1. Location the Atonkan people primarily reside in Atonkan town, which is located in the Adu local government area of Banu state. Atonkan is a vibrant community with a population that is predominantly agrarian. 2. Occupation. Agriculture is the mainstay of the Atonkan people, with farming activities such as the cultivation of crops like yam, cassava, maize, millet, and vegetables being a significant source of livelihood. The community also engages in fishing and trading. 3. Language and culture. The Atonkan people have their language, which is a dialect of the Adoma language spoken in Banu state. Their culture is characterized by traditional practices, music, dance, and festivals that celebrate important events and occurrences in the community. 4. Social structure. The Atonkan community has a traditional social structure based on kinship ties and communal living. Respect for elders, communal solidarity, and mutual support are important values within the community. 5. Religion. The Atonkan people are predominantly Christian, with Catholicism and various Protestant denominations being the dominant religious beliefs in the community. Traditional beliefs and practices may also coexist alongside Christianity in the community. 6. Education. Efforts are made to ensure that children in the Atonkan community have access to quality education. The community has schools, including primary and secondary schools, as well as educational facilities that cater to the educational needs of the residents. In summary, the Atonkan people of Banu State are a distinct ethnic group with a strong agricultural tradition, cultural identity, and community cohesion. They play a vital role in the social and economic development of the region through their farming practices and cultural practices. Makurdi is the capital city of Banu State, Nigeria, located in the central part of the country. It is a bustling urban center with a rich history, diverse population, and significant economic and cultural importance. Here is a detailed description of Makurdi. 1. Location and Geography 
Makurdi is situated along the Banu River, giving the city a strategic location for transportation and trade. It is located in the central part of Nigeria and serves as the headquarters of Banu State. The city is known for its fertile lands, which support agricultural activities such as farming and fishing. 2. History Makurdi has a long history dating back to pre-colonial times when it served as a key trading hub for the local communities. The city experienced significant growth and development during the colonial era, especially with the establishment of administrative structures by the British. Today, Makurdi remains an important administrative, commercial, and cultural center in Banu State. 3. Economy Agriculture is a significant economic activity in Makurdi, with the city being known for the production of crops like yam, cassava, rice, and vegetables. The Banu State University located in Makurdi contributes to the city's economy and serves as an educational hub. Trade and commerce also play a vital role in the city's economy, with markets and commercial activities thriving in Makurdi. 4. Culture and Tourism Makurdi is home to a diverse population comprising various ethnic groups, which contributes to its rich cultural tapestry. The city hosts various cultural festivals, ceremonies, and events that showcase the traditions and heritage of the people of Banu State. There are several tourist attractions in and around Makurdi, including the Makurdi Modern Market, the Banu State University, and the Banu River, which offer recreational opportunities for residents and visitors. 5. Infrastructure and Services Makurdi is equipped with essential infrastructure such as roads, schools, hospitals, markets, and public services to cater to the needs of its residents. The city is connected to other parts of Nigeria through road networks and is served by the Makurdi Airport for air travel. In conclusion, Makurdi is a vibrant urban center with a mix of modern amenities and a rich cultural heritage. It plays a crucial role in the social, economic, and cultural life of Banu State, making it a significant city in Nigeria. I'm glad you're interested in learning more about the Ugboko people of Banu, Nigeria. Here is some information about the Ugboko people and their community. 1. Location The Ugboko people are located in Banu State, Nigeria. Ugboko is a village in the Agatu local government area of Banu State and is part of the Tiv ethnic group, which is one of the major ethnic groups in Banu State. 2. Occupation The Ugboko people are predominantly engaged in agricultural activities such as farming, fishing, and livestock rearing. Agriculture is the mainstay of their economy, with crops like yam, cassava, maize, millet, and vegetables being grown for subsistence and commercial purposes. 3. Language and Culture the Ugboko people speak the Tiv language, which is a major dialect spoken in Banu State. Their culture is rich in traditions, customs, and rituals that are passed down through generations. Traditional practices, music, dance, and festivals play a significant role in the community's cultural identity. 4. Social structure The Ugboko community has a traditional social structure based on kinship ties and communal living. Respect for elders, communal solidarity, and mutual support are important values within the community. The village is typically led by traditional rulers and elders who oversee community affairs. 5. Religion The Ugboko people practice Christianity, with Catholicism and various Protestant denominations being the dominant religious beliefs in the community. Traditional beliefs and practices may also coexist alongside Christianity in the community. 6. Education Efforts are made to ensure that children in the Ugboko community have access to quality education. The community has schools, including primary and secondary schools, as well as educational facilities that cater to the educational needs of the residents. In summary, the Ugboko people of Banu, Nigeria, are a distinct ethnic group within the Tiv ethnic group with a strong agricultural tradition, cultural identity, and community cohesion. They play a vital role in the social and economic development of the region through their farming practices and cultural heritage. What are you looking at it from? What are you looking at it from? What are Unveiling the rich history of the Insuka people in Enugu State. Let's delve into the fascinating history of the Insuka people in Enugu State. Sit back, relax, and let us take you on a journey through time as we explore the origins, culture, and traditions of this vibrant community. Origins of the Insuka people. 
The Nsukka people are an ethnic group located in Enugu State, Nigeria. They are known for their rich history and strong cultural heritage. The origins of the Nsukka people can be traced back to ancient times when they migrated to the region from neighboring areas. Over the centuries, they have developed a unique identity that sets them apart from other ethnic groups in Nigeria. Culture and traditions, the Nsukka people have a rich cultural heritage that is reflected in the traditional practices, music, dance, and art. One of the most important aspects of their culture is the Nsukka Masquerade, a colorful and vibrant display of traditional costumes and performances that celebrate their history and beliefs. The Nsukka people also have a strong sense of community and are known for their hospitality and generosity towards visitors. Historical Landmarks Enugu State is home to several historical landmarks that are of great significance to the Nsukka people. One of the most famous landmarks is the University of Nigeria, Nsukka, which was established in 1960 and has since become a center of learning and research for the community. Another important landmark is the Nsukka Cultural Center, which showcases the rich history and traditions of the Nsukka people through exhibitions and events. Traditional Cuisine the Nsukka people have a diverse and delicious cuisine that reflects the cultural heritage and agricultural practices. Some of the most popular dishes include yam porridge, akidi, black-eyed pea pudding, and oha soup. These dishes are often prepared using traditional cooking methods and ingredients that have been passed down through generations. Religious Beliefs The Nsukka people have a strong spiritual connection to their ancestors and the natural world around them. They practice a blend of traditional African religions and Christianity, with many people participating in rituals and ceremonies that honor their ancestors and seek blessings for the future. The Nsukka people also have a deep respect for the environment and believe in living in harmony with nature. Economic activities. The Nsukka people are primarily farmers and traders, with agriculture being the main source of income for many families. They grow a variety of crops such as yam, cassava, and vegetables, which are sold at local markets or used to feed their families. In addition to farming, the Nsukka people are also skilled artisans who produce beautiful handcrafted items such as pottery, textiles, and wood carvings. Challenges and opportunities Like many communities in Nigeria, the Nsukka people face challenges such as poverty, lack of infrastructure, and limited access to education and healthcare. However, they are also resilient and resourceful, finding ways to overcome these obstacles through community support and entrepreneurship. With the right investments and support, the Nsukka people have the potential to thrive and prosper in the future. Celebrations and festivals, the Nsukka people are known for their vibrant celebrations and festivals that showcase their culture and traditions. One of the most popular festivals is the Nsukka New Yam Festival which is held annually to celebrate the harvest season and give thanks to the gods for a bountiful crop. During the festival, there are traditional dances, music performances, and feasting, bringing the community together in joy and unity. Conclusion As we come to the end of our journey through the history of the Nsukka people in Enugu State, we hope you have gained a deeper appreciation for this vibrant and resilient community. Their rich culture, traditions, and strong sense of identity make them a unique and important part of Nigeria's diverse heritage. Exploring the rich heritage of villages in Nsukka land, Enugu State. Nestled in the heart of Enugu State lies the picturesque Nsukka land, home to a myriad of vibrant villages each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the bustling markets of Aboloa 4 to the serene hills of Opi, there is so much to discover in this enchanting region. Join us as we take a closer look at the villages in Nsukka land and the rich cultures that define them. The charm of Aboloa 4, known as the commercial hub of Nsukka land, Aboloa 4 is a bustling village where locals gather to buy and sell goods at the vibrant markets. The market days are a sight to behold, with colorful stalls lining the streets and the air filled with the sounds of bargaining and laughter. The people of Aboloa 4 are known for their warm hospitality and strong sense of community making it a must-visit destination for anyone looking to experience the true essence of Nsukka culture. The serenity of Opi, tucked away in the hills of Nsukka land, Opi is a tranquil village known for its breathtaking views and peaceful atmosphere. The lush greenery and rolling hills make it the perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle of city life and reconnect with nature. The people of Opi are deeply connected to the land and have a strong sense of pride in their cultural heritage. Visitors to Opi can expect to be greeted with open arms and treated to traditional dances and music that showcase the rich history of the village. The vibrancy of Alor Uno. Alor Uno is a vibrant village in Nsukka land that is known for its lively festivals and colorful celebrations. 
The people of Alor Uno are passionate about their cultural traditions and take great pride in preserving them for future generations. From the annual Yam Festival to the traditional masquerade dances, there is always something exciting happening in Alor Uno. Visitors to the village can expect to be immersed in a whirlwind of sights, sounds, and flavors that will leave a lasting impression. The beauty of Eher Alamona, Eher Alamona is a picturesque village in Insuka land that is known for its stunning architecture and beautiful landscapes. The traditional mud houses and thatched roofs give the village a timeless charm, while the rolling hills and lush forests provide the perfect backdrop for outdoor adventures. The people of Eher Alamona are known for their craftsmanship and artistic talents, with many locals creating intricate pottery and woven baskets that are sold in markets across the region. Visitors to Eher Alamona can expect to be captivated by the beauty of the village and the warm hospitality of its residents. The rich history of Ikum. Ikum is a village in Insuka land that is steeped in history and tradition. The ancient ruins and archaeological sites in the area are a testament to the village's long and storied past, with artifacts dating back centuries. The people of Ikum are proud of their heritage and work tirelessly to preserve the cultural landmarks that make the village so unique. Visitors to Ikum can explore the ruins, visit the local museums, and learn about the fascinating history of the village through guided tours and cultural experiences. The Spirituality of Uzo Awani Uzo Awani is a spiritual village in Insuka land that is known for its sacred shrines and religious ceremonies. The people of Uzo Awani are deeply connected to their spiritual beliefs and practice traditional rituals to honor their ancestors and seek blessings for the future. The village is home to a number of important religious sites, including the famous Uzo Awani Shrine, where pilgrims from across the region come to pay their respects and seek guidance. Visitors to Uzo Awani can participate in the ceremonies, learn about the local customs, and experience the profound sense of spirituality that permeates the village. The Resilience of Nimbo Nimbo is a village in Insuka land that has overcome great adversity to emerge stronger than ever. The village was once the site of a devastating attack by insurgents, but the people of Nimbo have banded together to rebuild and reclaim their home. Today, Nimbo is a shining example of resilience and community spirit, with locals working together to create a brighter future for the next generation. Visitors to Nimbo can witness the strength and determination of the villages firsthand, and be inspired by their unwavering commitment to preserving their culture and traditions. The hospitality of Orba, Orba is a welcoming village in Insuka land that is known for its warm hospitality and friendly atmosphere. The people of Orba are renowned for their generosity and kindness, always ready to welcome visitors with open arms and share their traditions and customs. The village is home to a number of cultural landmarks, including the famous Orba Palace and the traditional dance troupes that perform at local festivals. Visitors to Orba can expect to be treated like family, with locals eager to share their stories and show off the best of Insuka culture. The diversity of Impolagu, Impolagu is a diverse village in Insuka land that is home to a melting pot of cultures and traditions. The village is a vibrant mix of different ethnic groups, each with its own unique customs and practices. From the colorful festivals of the Igbo people to the traditional dances of the Hausa community, there is always something new and exciting to discover in Impolagu. The people of the village are proud of their diversity and work together to celebrate their differences and create a harmonious community that welcomes all who visit. In conclusion, the villages in Insuka land are a treasure trove of culture, history, and tradition waiting to be explored. Each village has its own unique charm and character, offering visitors a glimpse into the rich heritage of the region. From the bustling markets of Aboloa 4 to the serene hills of Opi, there is something for everyone to discover in Insuka land. So pack your bags, hit the road, and get ready to experience the magic of these enchanting villages for yourself. Discover the vibrant villages in Insuka land, Enugu state, and immerse yourself in the rich cultures and traditions that define each unique community. Explore the bustling markets of Aboloa 4, the serene hills of Opi, and the diverse cultures of Impolagu in this enchanting region of Nigeria. Title, Exploring the Rich Cultures of Enugu State, A Look at Local Governments and Villages. Introduction. Enugu State, located in the southeastern part of Nigeria, is known for its diverse cultures and traditions. The state is made up of several local governments, each with its unique customs and practices. In this blog post, we will take a closer look at the different local governments in Enugu State and the fascinating cultures of the villages within them. Local governments in Enugu State. Enugu State is divided into several local governments, including Enugu East, Enugu North, Enugu South, and more. 
Each local government is home to various villages, each with its distinct culture and heritage. From the bustling markets of Enugu North to the serene landscapes of Enugu South, each area offers a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Enugu State's cultural diversity. Enugu villages and their cultures, the villages in Enugu State are known for their vibrant traditions and customs. In Enugu East, for example, the people are known for their colorful festivals and traditional dances. In Enugu South, on the other hand, the villages are renowned for their intricate beadwork and pottery. Each village has its unique way of life, passed down through generations, making Anugu State a treasure trove of cultural heritage. Preserving cultural heritage, as modernization continues to spread across Anugu State, there is a growing concern about preserving the traditional cultures of the villages. Efforts are being made to document and promote the customs and practices of the various communities, ensuring that future generations can continue to celebrate and honor their heritage. By supporting local artisans and cultural events, residents and visitors alike can help preserve the rich cultural tapestry of Enugu State. Celebrating diversity, one of the most remarkable aspects of Enugu State is its cultural diversity. From the Igbo people in Enugu North to the Udi people in Enugu South, the state is a melting pot of different ethnic groups and traditions. By celebrating this diversity and embracing the unique cultures of each village, Enugu State can continue to thrive as a vibrant and dynamic community. Promoting tourism, Enugu State's rich cultural heritage has the potential to attract tourists from around the world. By showcasing the traditional dances, music, and crafts of the villages, the state can create a unique and immersive experience for visitors. From cultural festivals to heritage tours, there are countless opportunities to promote tourism and economic development in Enugu State. Supporting local communities, as we explore the local governments and villages of Enugu State, it is essential to remember the importance of supporting local communities. By purchasing handmade crafts, attending cultural events, and engaging with the residents, we can help empower the people of Enugu State and preserve their way of life for generations to come. Conclusion, Enugu State is a vibrant and diverse region, filled with rich cultures and traditions. By exploring the local governments and villages of the state, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the unique heritage of Enugu State. From preserving cultural heritage to promoting tourism, there are countless ways to support and celebrate the communities of Enugu State. Explore the diverse cultures of Enugu State through its local governments and villages. Discover the traditions and customs that make this region a treasure trove of cultural heritage. Exploring the rich cultures of Anambra villages. Anambra State, located in southeastern Nigeria, is home to a diverse array of villages, each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the bustling markets of Anitsha to the serene beauty of Aguleri, the villages of Anambra offer a glimpse into the rich history and heritage of the Igbo people. In this blog post, we will take a closer look at some of the most fascinating villages in Anambra State and the cultures that define them. The vibrant culture of Anitsha. Anitsha, one of the largest commercial centers in Nigeria, is known for its bustling markets and vibrant culture. The people of Anitsha are known for their entrepreneurial spirit and love of music and dance. Traditional festivals such as the Afala Festival and the New Yam Festival are celebrated with great pomp and pageantry, showcasing the rich cultural heritage of the community. The traditional attire of the Anitsha people, including the colorful George wrapper and the Isi Agu fabric, is a sight to behold. The serene beauty of Aguleri. Aguleri, a picturesque village located along the banks of the Anambra River, is known for its serene beauty and rich cultural traditions. The people of Aguleri are known for their traditional farming practices and strong sense of community. The village is home to several sacred sites, including the Ogbenike Caves and the Ogborku Shrine, which are important cultural landmarks for the community. The annual Aguleri Yam Festival is a time of celebration and thanksgiving, where villagers come together to honor their ancestors and pray for a bountiful harvest. The historic village of Ni, Ni, often referred to as the ancestral home of the Igbo people, is a historic village with a rich cultural heritage. The village is known for its sacred sites, including the Ni Igwe Palace and the Ni Oracle, which are believed to hold great spiritual significance. The people of Ni are known for their traditional religious practices and strong sense of community. The annual Ni New Yam Festival is a time of celebration and renewal, where villagers come together to give thanks for the harvest and pray for prosperity in the coming year. The traditional crafts of Newi. Newi, a village known for its skilled craftsmen and artisans, is a hub of traditional Igbo culture.
festival is a time of celebration and renewal, where villagers come together to give thanks for the harvest and pray for prosperity in the coming year. The traditional crafts of Newi. Newi, a village known for its skilled craftsmen and artisans, is a hub of traditional Igbo culture. The people of Newi are known for their expertise in pottery, weaving, and wood carving, which have been passed down through generations. The village is home to several craft markets where visitors can purchase handmade goods such as pottery, baskets, and textiles. The Newi people also have a rich tradition of storytelling and oral history, which is passed down through songs, dances, and folk tales. The festive spirit of Ominia. Ominia, a village known for its lively festivals and colorful celebrations, is a vibrant community with a strong sense of tradition. The people of Ominia are known for their love of music and dance, which are integral parts of their cultural identity. The village is home to several annual festivals, including the Ominia Cultural Festival and the Ominia Masquerade Festival, which showcase the rich cultural heritage of the community. The traditional attire of the Ominia people, including the colorful Aquarocha fabric and the Ozo cap, is a symbol of pride and identity for the villages. The culinary delights of Orca. Orca, the capital city of Anambra State, is a melting pot of culinary delights and traditional cuisine. The people of Orca are known for their love of spicy foods and bold flavors, which are reflected in the traditional dishes such as Ofe Onigbu, bitter leaf soup, and Inkwobi, spicy goat meat. The village is home to several bustling food markets where visitors can sample local delicacies and purchase fresh ingredients. The Orca people also have a strong tradition of hospitality, welcoming guests with open arms and generous portions of food. The spiritual practices of Oba. Oba, a village known for its strong spiritual traditions and sacred rituals, is a place of reverence and devotion. The people of Oba are known for their deep connection to the spiritual world which is reflected in the traditional religious practices and ceremonies. The village is home to several shrines and temples where villagers gather to pray and offer sacrifices to the gods. The annual Oba festival is a time of celebration and worship, where villagers come together to honor their ancestors and seek blessings for the coming year. The artistic heritage of Agulu. Agulu, a village known for its rich artistic heritage and creative spirit, is a hub of traditional Igbo art and culture. The people of Agulu are known for their skilled craftsmanship in pottery, sculpture, and painting, which are showcased in the village's art galleries and craft markets. The village is home to several talented artists and artisans who create beautiful works of art inspired by the natural beauty of the surrounding landscape. The Agulu people also have a strong tradition of music and dance, with traditional performances that celebrate the community's cultural heritage. Discover the vibrant cultures of Anambra villages, from the bustling markets of Anitsha to the serene beauty of Aguleri. Explore the traditional crafts of Newi and the culinary delights of Orca in this in-depth look at the diverse cultures of Anambra state. Exploring the rich cultural tapestry of villages in Abia state. Abia state, located in the southeastern part of Nigeria, is home to a diverse array of villages, each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the bustling markets of Ominiochi to the vibrant festivals of Isuakuito, there is so much to discover in this vibrant region. In this blog post, we will take a closer look at some of the villages in Arbia State and provide explanations of each of the cultures and traditions that make them special. Ominiochi, known for its vibrant markets and bustling streets, Ominiochi is a village that is steeped in tradition. The people of Ominiochi are known for their strong sense of community and their dedication to preserving their cultural heritage. One of the most important traditions in Ominiochi is the annual New Yam Festival, where villagers come together to celebrate the harvest and give thanks to the gods for their bountiful crops. This festival is a time of feasting, dancing, and music, and is a highlight of the village's cultural calendar. Isuakuito, Nestled in the hills of Arbia State, Isuakuito is a village that is known for its vibrant festivals and colorful traditions. One of the most famous festivals in Isuakuito is the Ikeji Festival, which takes place every year in the month of May. During this festival, villagers come together to celebrate the new yam harvest and to honor their ancestors. The festival is a time of feasting, dancing, and storytelling, and is a wonderful opportunity to experience the rich cultural heritage of Isuakuito. Arachukwu, Arachukwu is a village with a rich history and a strong sense of tradition. One of the most important cultural practices in Arachukwu is the Long Juju Slave Route, a sacred path that was used by the villagers to transport slaves to the coast during the transatlantic slave trade. 
Today, the Long Juju Slave Route is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is a powerful reminder of the village's past. In addition to the Long Juju Slave Route, Arachukwu is also known for its traditional masquerades, which are an important part of the village's cultural identity. Explore the vibrant culture and traditions of villages in Abia State, Nigeria, from the bustling markets of Ominiochi to the colorful festivals of Isuakuoto. Learn about the unique customs and practices that make each village special in this in-depth blog post. Exploring the rich cultures of Imo State Villages. Introduction. Imo State, located in southeastern Nigeria, is home to a diverse array of villages, each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the colorful festivals to the traditional dances, the villages in Imo State offer a glimpse into the rich heritage of the Igbo people. Join us as we take a closer look at some of the most fascinating villages in Imo State and the cultures that make them so special. The vibrant festivals of Umunoha, one of the most vibrant villages in Imo State is Umunoha, known for its lively festivals and colorful celebrations. The people of Umunoha take great pride in their cultural heritage, and this is evident in the elaborate costumes and traditional dances that are a central part of their festivals. Visitors to Umunoha can expect to be greeted with warm hospitality and a lively atmosphere that is sure to leave a lasting impression. The traditional cuisine of Amudam, another village worth exploring in Imo State is Amudam, known for its delicious traditional cuisine. The people of Amudam are skilled in the art of cooking, and visitors can sample a wide variety of dishes that showcase the unique flavors and ingredients of the region. From spicy soups to hearty stews, the cuisine of Amudam is sure to tantalize the taste buds and leave you craving more. The intriguing masquerades of Wamuazila. In the village of Wamuazila, visitors can witness the fascinating tradition of masquerades, which play a central role in the cultural life of the community. The masquerades of Wamuazila are known for their elaborate costumes and intricate dances, which are believed to bring good luck and prosperity to the village. Watching a masquerade performance in Umuazila is a truly unforgettable experience that offers a glimpse into the spiritual beliefs and traditions of the Igbo people. The rich history of Umueze. Umueze is a village steeped in history, with ancient landmarks and cultural sites that tell the story of its past. Visitors to Umueze can explore the ruins of old palaces and temples, as well as traditional shrines and burial grounds that offer insight into the customs and beliefs of the village. The people of Umueze take great pride in their heritage, and are eager to share their history with visitors who are curious to learn more about the rich cultural tapestry of Imo State. The traditional dance of Umaduru. In the village of Umaduru, traditional dance is a central part of the cultural life of the community. The people of Umaduru are known for their energetic and rhythmic dance performances, which are accompanied by live music and singing. Visitors to Umaduru can join in the festivities and learn some of the traditional dance moves, or simply sit back and enjoy the vibrant spectacle of color and movement that is a hallmark of the village's cultural traditions. The artistic heritage of Umanachi, Umanachi is a village known for its artistic heritage, with skilled craftsmen and artisans who create beautiful works of art using traditional techniques and materials. Visitors to Umanachi can browse the local markets and shops to find unique handcrafted items such as pottery, textiles, and wood carvings that showcase the talent and creativity of the village's artisans. markets and shops to find unique handcrafted items such as pottery, textiles, and wood carvings that showcase the talent and creativity of the village's artisans. The people of Umanachi are proud of their artistic traditions, and are eager to share their craft with visitors who appreciate the beauty and skill of their work. The spiritual practices of Amudam. In the village of Amudam, spiritual practices play a central role in the daily life of the community. The people of Amudam follow traditional beliefs and rituals that are passed down through generations, and are deeply connected to the natural world and the spirits that inhabit it. Visitors to Amudam can participate in ceremonies and rituals that offer a glimpse into the spiritual beliefs and practices of the village, and gain a deeper understanding of the cultural traditions that shape the lives of its people. The musical heritage of Umuazila, Umuazila is a village known for its musical heritage, with talented musicians and singers who perform traditional songs and melodies that have been passed down through the generations. Of its people, the music... 
The people of Umuazila take great pride in their musical traditions, and are eager to share their love of music with visitors who appreciate the beauty and artistry of their performances. Visitors to Umuazila can listen to live music at local gatherings and events, or even join in the singing and dancing to experience the joy and camaraderie that music brings to the village. Imo State is a treasure trove of cultural diversity, with villages that offer a rich tapestry of traditions, customs, and beliefs that have been passed down through generations. From the vibrant festivals of Umunoha to the artistic heritage of Amanachi, each village in Imo State has its own unique story to tell and its own special charm to share with visitors. Exploring the villages of Imo State is a journey of discovery and wonder, where the past and present come together in a colorful tapestry of culture and tradition. Discover the vibrant cultures of Imo State villages, from the colorful festivals of Umunoha to the artistic heritage of Amanachi. Exploring the villages of Imo State is a journey of discovery and wonder, where the past and present come together in a colorful tapestry of culture and tradition. Discover the vibrant cultures of Imo State villages, from the colorful festivals of Umunoha to the art exploring the rich cultural tapestry of Delta State villages. Let's delve into the vibrant and diverse cultures of the villages in Delta State, Nigeria. From the bustling markets of Ogeli to the serene riverside communities of Patani, each village has its own unique traditions and customs that have been passed down through generations. Join us as we take a closer look at the fascinating cultural heritage of Delta State villages. The warm hospitality of Ogeli. Ogeli is known for its warm hospitality and welcoming spirit. Visitors to this bustling village are greeted with open arms and treated to traditional dances, music, and delicious local cuisine. The people of Ogeli take great pride in their cultural heritage and are eager to share it with anyone who is interested in learning more. Whether you are exploring the vibrant markets or attending a community celebration, you are sure to feel the sense of community and camaraderie that defines Ogeli. The intriguing festivals of Wari. Wari is a village that is steeped in tradition and known for its colorful festivals. From the annual Olu of Wari festival to the Ojiame festival, there are plenty of opportunities to experience the rich cultural heritage of this vibrant village. The people of Wari are proud of their customs and traditions, and they go to great lengths to preserve them for future generations. Whether you are participating in a traditional dance or sampling local delicacies, you are sure to be captivated by the unique charm of Wari. The Artistic Flair of Patani. Patani is a village that is renowned for its artistic flair and creative spirit. The people of Patani are skilled artisans who specialize in traditional crafts such as pottery, weaving, and beadwork. Visitors to this village can admire the intricate designs and vibrant colors of the local artwork, or even try their hand at creating their own masterpiece. The artistic heritage of Patani is a source of great pride for its residents, and they are always eager to share their talents with others. Whether you are browsing the local markets or attending a craft workshop, you are sure to be inspired by the creativity of Patani. The Culinary Delights of Sapili Sapili is a village that is known for its culinary delights and delicious cuisine. The people of Sapili take great pride in their traditional dishes, which are made with fresh, locally sourced ingredients. From spicy jollof rice to savory agusi soup, there is no shortage of mouth-watering dishes to sample in Sapili. Visitors to this village can enjoy a traditional meal at a local restaurant or even try their hand at cooking a traditional dish with the help of a local chef. The culinary heritage of Sapili is a testament to the rich cultural diversity of Delta State villages, and it is sure to leave a lasting impression on anyone who visits. The Spiritual Traditions of Isoko Isoko is a village that is steeped in spiritual traditions and ancient rituals. The people of Isoko have a deep connection to the land and the spirits that inhabit it, and they take great care to honor and respect these forces. From traditional ceremonies to sacred dances, there are plenty of opportunities to witness the spiritual practices of Isoko. Visitors to this village can participate in a healing ritual, consult with a local diviner, or simply meditate in the serene surroundings of the village. The spiritual traditions of Isoko are a vital part of the cultural identity of the village, and they continue to be passed down from generation to generation. The Vibrant Music Scene of Abraka Abraka is a village that is known for its vibrant music scene and lively entertainment. The people of Abraka are talented musicians who specialize in traditional drumming, singing, and dancing. Visitors to this village can enjoy a live performance at a local music venue, or even participate in a drumming workshop to learn more about the traditional music of Abraka. The music of Abraka is a reflection of the village's cultural heritage and is a source of great pride for its residents. 
Whether you are tapping your feet to the beat of a drum or joining in a traditional dance, you are sure to be swept away by the infectious energy of Abraka. The colorful attire of Agbor. Agbor is a village that is known for its colorful attire and traditional clothing. The people of Agbor take great pride in their vibrant fabrics, intricate beadwork, and elaborate hairstyles. Visitors to this village can admire the stunning outfits worn by the locals, or even purchase a traditional garment to take home as a souvenir. The clothing of Agbor is a reflection of the village's cultural heritage and is a source of great pride for its residents. Whether you are attending a community celebration or simply strolling through the village, you are sure to be dazzled by the colorful attire of Agbor. The Time Honored Crafts of Bamadi. Bamadi is a village that is renowned for its time honored crafts and traditional skills. The people of Bamadi are skilled artisans who specialize in woodworking, basket weaving, and leatherworking. Visitors to this village can watch a craftsman at work, purchase a handmade souvenir, or even try their hand at creating their own masterpiece. The crafts of Bamadi are a testament to the village's cultural heritage and are a source of great pride for its residents. Whether you are admiring a beautifully carved sculpture or learning how to weave a basket, you are sure to be impressed by the craftsmanship of Bamadi. The festive celebrations of Ole. Ole is a village that is known for its festive celebrations and lively events. The people of Ole love to come together to celebrate special occasions such as weddings, birthdays, and religious holidays. Visitors to this village can join in the fun by participating in a traditional dance, sampling local delicacies, or simply enjoying the lively atmosphere. The festive celebrations of Ole are a reflection of the village's cultural heritage and are a source of great joy for its residents. Whether you are attending a community festival or simply soaking up the festive atmosphere, you are sure to be swept away by the spirit of Ole. The villages of Delta State are a treasure trove of cultural diversity and rich traditions. From the warm hospitality of Ogeli to the vibrant music scene of Abraka, each village has its own unique charm and character that is sure to captivate visitors. Whether you are exploring the colorful attire of Agbor or sampling the culinary delights of Sapili, you are sure to be impressed by the cultural heritage of Delta State villages. So come along on this cultural journey with us and discover the fascinating traditions and customs that make each village in Delta State truly special. Dive into the vibrant and diverse cultures of the villages in Delta State, Nigeria, from the warm hospitality of Ogeli to the artistic flair of Patani. Join us on a cultural journey through the rich traditions and customs of Delta State villages. Exploring the rich cultures of villages in Rivers State. Welcome to Rivers State, where vibrant cultures and traditions thrive in every village. From the bustling markets of Agoni to the serene fishing communities of Andoni, each village has its own unique charm and customs that make it a must-visit destination for anyone looking to experience the true essence of Nigerian culture. The Colorful Festivals of Agoni The Agoni people are known for the colorful festivals that celebrate their rich cultural heritage. One of the most popular festivals is the Agoni Day, where villagers come together to showcase their traditional dances, music, and cuisine. Visitors can also witness the famous masquerade performances that are a highlight of the festival. The Agoni people are proud of their heritage and are always eager to share it with visitors from around the world. The Fishing Traditions of Andoni The village of Andoni is famous for its fishing traditions, which have been passed down through generations. The Andoni people rely on the rivers and creeks for their livelihood, and fishing is an integral part of their culture. Visitors can join the locals on fishing expeditions and learn about the traditional methods used to catch fish. The village also hosts annual fishing festivals where visitors can sample fresh seafood and watch traditional dance performances. The Vibrant Markets of Aquare Aquare Village is home to some of the most vibrant markets in Rivers State. The bustling marketplaces are filled with colorful stalls selling everything from fresh produce to handmade crafts. Visitors can immerse themselves in the lively atmosphere and haggle with local vendors for unique souvenirs. The markets are also a great place to sample traditional dishes and learn about the culinary traditions of the Aquare people. The Intricate Beadwork of Okrika Okrika Village is renowned for its intricate beadwork, which is a traditional craft that has been practiced for centuries. The Okrika people are skilled artisans who create beautiful jewelry and accessories using colorful beads. Visitors can watch the artisans at work and even try their hand at creating their own beadwork. The village also hosts beadwork exhibitions where visitors can purchase unique pieces to take home as souvenirs. The traditional dances of Calabari. Calabari village is known for its vibrant traditional dances that are a central part of the cultural celebrations. 
The Calabari people are talented dancers who perform intricate routines accompanied by live music. Visitors can watch performances at local festivals and even join in the dancing themselves. The village also has a rich history of storytelling through dance, with each routine telling a unique story about the Calabari people's heritage. The ancient architecture of Apobo. Apobo village is home to some of the most ancient architecture in Rivers State, with traditional mud houses and thatched roofs that have stood the test of time. Visitors can explore the village and learn about the construction techniques used by the Apobo people. The village also has a rich history of craftsmanship, with artisans creating intricate carvings and sculptures that are displayed throughout the village. Apobo is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in Nigerian architecture and history. The culinary delights of Aleme. Aleme village is a food lover's paradise, with a wide variety of traditional dishes that showcase the culinary traditions of the Aleme people. Visitors can sample local delicacies such as banga soup, roasted plantains, and fresh seafood. The village also hosts cooking demonstrations where visitors can learn how to prepare traditional dishes using local ingredients. Aleme is a great place to experience the flavors of Rivers State and immerse yourself in the rich culinary heritage of the region. The traditional crafts of Imohua. Imohua village is known for its traditional crafts, including pottery, weaving, and wood carving. The Imohua people are skilled artisans who create beautiful handmade items that are sold in local markets. Visitors can watch the artisans at work and even try their hand at creating their own crafts. The village also hosts craft fairs where visitors can purchase unique handmade souvenirs to take home. Imohua is a great place to support local artisans and learn about the traditional crafts of Rivers State. The Music and Dance of Eche Eche Village is a hub of music and dance, with lively performances that showcase the cultural traditions of the Eche people. Visitors can watch traditional dance troupes perform energetic routines accompanied by live drumming. The village also hosts music festivals where visitors can listen to local musicians playing traditional instruments. Eche is a great place to experience the vibrant music and dance scene of Rivers State and immerse yourself in the rhythmic beats of Nigerian culture. In conclusion, the villages of Rivers State are a treasure trove of cultural experiences waiting to be explored. From the colorful festivals of Agoni to the traditional crafts of Imohua, each village offers a unique glimpse into the rich heritage of Nigerian culture. So pack your bags and get ready to embark on a cultural journey through the villages of Rivers State. Discover the vibrant cultures of villages in Rivers State, from the colorful festivals of Agoni to the traditional crafts of Imohua. Immerse yourself in the rich heritage of Nigerian culture through music, dance, and culinary delights. ...and traditions of villages in Kogi State. Kogi State, located in the heart of Nigeria, is home to a diverse array of villages each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the colorful festivals to the traditional dances, the villages in Kogi State offer a glimpse into the rich heritage of the people who call this region home. Join us as we take a closer look at some of the most fascinating villages in Kogi State and the customs that make them truly special. The vibrant culture of Egbe Village. Nestled in the hills of Kogi State, Egbe Village is known for its vibrant culture and strong sense of community. The people of Egbe are proud of their heritage and celebrate it through traditional dances, music, and festivals. One of the most popular events in Egbe is the annual New Yam Festival where villagers come together to give thanks for the harvest and pray for a bountiful year ahead. Visitors to Egbe village are always welcomed with open arms and are encouraged to join in the festivities to experience the true spirit of this lively community. The timeless traditions of Agori village. Agori village is steeped in history and tradition, with customs that have been passed down through generations. One of the most cherished traditions in Agori is the annual masquerade festival, where villagers don elaborate costumes and masks to perform ancient rituals and dances. The festival is a time of great joy and celebration, as the people of Agori come together to honor their ancestors and seek blessings for the future. Visitors to Agori village are often amazed by the beauty and intricacy of the masquerade costumes, as well as the deep sense of pride and tradition that permeates every aspect of village life. The festive spirit of Akene village. Akene village is known for its festive spirit and lively atmosphere, with colorful celebrations that bring the community together in joyous harmony. One of the most popular events in Akene is the annual Durba festival, where villagers gather to watch traditional horseback displays and enjoy music, dance, and feasting. The festival is a time of great excitement and camaraderie, as the people of Akene come together to celebrate their culture and heritage. 
Visitors to a Kenne village are always welcomed with open arms and are encouraged to join in the festivities to experience the warmth and hospitality of this vibrant community. The sacred traditions of Ida village. Ida village is steeped in sacred traditions and rituals that have been preserved for centuries. One of the most important customs in Ida is the annual Abegwu festival, where villagers come together to honor the spirits of their ancestors and seek blessings for the coming year. The festival is a time of solemn reflection and reverence, as the people of Ida pay homage to their heritage and seek guidance from the divine. Visitors to Ida village are often struck by the deep sense of spirituality and tradition that permeates every aspect of village life, as well as the warm welcome extended to all who come to experience the beauty of this ancient culture. The colorful festivals of Angpa village. Angpa village is known for its colorful festivals and lively celebrations that showcase the rich cultural heritage of the people who call this village home. One of the most popular events in Angpa is the annual Yam Festival, where villagers come together to give thanks for the harvest and pray for a prosperous year ahead. The festival is a time of great joy and merriment, as the people of Angpa celebrate their traditions through music, dance, and feasting. Visitors to Angpa village are always welcomed with open arms and are encouraged to join in the festivities to experience the vibrant spirit of this dynamic community. The traditional dances of Dakina village. Dakina village is renowned for its traditional dances that have been passed down through generations, each with its own unique style and significance. One of the most popular dances in Dakina is the Ekambi dance, a lively performance that tells the story of the village's history and culture through intricate movements and rhythmic music. The dance is a time-honored tradition that brings the community together in celebration and unity, as the people of Dakina express their pride and heritage through the art of dance. Visitors to Dakina village are often captivated by the beauty and grace of the Ekambi dance, as well as the deep sense of tradition and camaraderie that it represents. The rich heritage of Basaringay village. Basaringay village is known for its rich heritage and strong sense of identity, with customs that reflect the deep connection the people have to their land and ancestors. One of the most important traditions in Basaringay is the annual fishing festival, where villagers come together to celebrate the bounty of the rivers and lakes that sustain their community. The festival is a time of great joy and gratitude, as the people of Basaringay honor the traditions of their forefathers and give thanks for the abundance of nature. Visitors to Basaringay village are always welcomed with open arms and are encouraged to join in the festivities to experience the beauty and resilience of this proud community. The time-honored customs of Ofu village. Ofu village is steeped in time-honored customs and rituals that have been preserved for generations, each with its own significance and meaning. One of the most cherished customs in Ofu is the annual harvest festival, where villagers come together to give thanks for the fruits of their labor and pray for a prosperous year ahead. The festival is a time of great celebration and camaraderie, as the people of Ofu share in the bounty of the land and honor the traditions of their ancestors. Visitors to Ofu village are often struck by the deep sense of community and tradition that permeates every aspect of village life, as well as the warm welcome extended to all who come to experience the beauty of this ancient culture. The Unique Traditions of Ijumu Village Ijumu Village is known for its unique traditions and customs that set it apart from other villages in Kogi State, each with its own special significance and meaning. One of the most distinctive traditions in Ijumu is the annual Masquerade Festival, where villagers don elaborate costumes and masks to perform ancient rituals and dances. The festival is a time of great excitement and reverence, as the people of Ijumu come together to honor their ancestors and seek blessings for the future. Visitors to Ijumu village are often amazed by the beauty and intricacy of the masquerade costumes, as well as the deep sense of pride and tradition that permeates every aspect of village life. The villages in Kogi State are a treasure trove of culture and tradition, each offering a unique glimpse into the rich heritage of the people who call this region home. From the vibrant festivals to the time-honored customs, the villages of Kogi State are a testament to the resilience and spirit of the communities that have preserved these traditions for generations. Visitors to Kogi State are sure to be captivated by the beauty and diversity of the villages they encounter, as well as the warm welcome extended to all who come to experience the magic of this truly special place. Explore the vibrant cultures and timeless traditions of villages in Kogi State, Nigeria, from the colorful festivals to the traditional dances that showcase the rich heritage of the people who call this region home. Exploring the rich cultures of villages in Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State, located in the north-central region of Nigeria, is home to a diverse array of villages each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the bustling markets of Lafia to the serene landscapes of Akwanga, the villages in Nasarawa State offer a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of the people who call this region home. 
the warm hospitality of Toto Village. One of the most welcoming villages in Nasarawa State is Toto, known for its warm hospitality and vibrant community spirit. Visitors to Toto are often greeted with open arms and treated to traditional dances and music performances. The people of Toto take great pride in their cultural heritage and are eager to share it with others. From the colorful attire worn during festivals to the delicious local cuisine, Toto Village is a must-visit for anyone looking to experience the true essence of Nasarawa State. The traditional festivals of Kiana Village. Kiana Village is famous for its traditional festivals that celebrate the rich history and customs of the Tiv people. One of the most popular festivals in Kiana is the Yam Festival, where villagers come together to give thanks for a bountiful harvest. The festival is marked by colorful parades, traditional dances, and feasting on delicious yam dishes. Visitors to Kiana during the Yam Festival are sure to be captivated by the vibrant energy and sense of community that permeates the village during this special time of year. The Intriguing Architecture of Doma Village Doma Village is known for its unique architecture, with many of the buildings featuring intricate carvings and designs that reflect the cultural heritage of the Alago people. The village is also home to a number of sacred sites and shrines that hold great significance for the local community. Visitors to Doma can explore the winding streets and alleyways, taking in the sights and sounds of this fascinating village. Whether admiring the traditional mud houses or marveling at the craftsmanship of the local artisans, Doma Village offers a glimpse into the rich cultural tapestry of Nasarawa State. The vibrant markets of Nasarawa Egan Village. Nasarawa Egan Village is a bustling hub of activity, with its vibrant markets attracting traders and visitors from far and wide. The village is known for its colorful textiles, intricate beadwork, and handcrafted pottery, all of which reflect the artistic talents of the Egan people. Visitors to Nasarawa Egan can wander through the maze of stalls, sampling local delicacies and picking up unique souvenirs to take home. The markets of Nasarawa Egan are a feast for the senses, offering a glimpse into the daily life and traditions of this dynamic village. The rich cultural heritage of Orr Village. Orr Village is steeped in history, with its ancient ruins and archaeological sites providing a window into the past. The village is home to the famous Orr Rock, a massive granite formation that has long been a sacred site for the Egan people. Visitors to Orr can explore the rock formations, caves, and inscriptions that tell the story of this ancient village. The people of Orr take great pride in their cultural heritage, and are eager to share their traditions and customs with visitors. From traditional storytelling to dance performances, Orr Village offers a unique opportunity to immerse oneself in the rich history of Nasarawa State. The traditional crafts of Obi Village. Obi Village is known for its traditional crafts, with artisans producing intricate beadwork, pottery, and weaving that reflect the cultural heritage of the Basa people. Visitors to Obi can watch skilled craftsmen at work, creating beautiful pieces that are both functional and decorative. The village is also home to a number of craft markets where visitors can purchase handmade souvenirs to take home. Whether admiring the intricate beadwork or learning about the traditional weaving techniques, Obi Village offers a fascinating glimpse into the artistic traditions of Nasarawa State. The Festive Celebrations of Kokona Village Kokona Village is known for its festive celebrations, with colorful festivals and events held throughout the year. One of the most popular events in Kokona is the New Yam Festival, where villagers come together to give thanks for a successful harvest. The festival is marked by traditional dances, music performances, and feasting on delicious yam dishes. Visitors to Kokona during the New Yam Festival are sure to be swept up in the joyous atmosphere and sense of community that permeates the village during this special time of year. The Serene Beauty of Akwanga Village Akwanga Village is known for its serene beauty, with lush green landscapes and rolling hills that provide a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of city life. The village is home to a number of natural attractions, including waterfalls, caves, and hot springs that draw visitors seeking relaxation and rejuvenation. Akwanga is also known for its traditional healing practices, with herbalists and traditional healers offering remedies for a variety of ailments. Whether exploring the natural wonders of the village or learning about traditional healing methods, Akwanga offers a tranquil escape into the heart of Nasarawa State. In conclusion, the villages in Nasarawa State are a treasure trove of cultural heritage and traditions waiting to be explored. From the warm hospitality of Toto to the vibrant markets of Nasarawa Egan, each village offers a unique glimpse into the rich tapestry of cultures that make up this diverse region. 
Whether admiring the traditional crafts of Obi or celebrating the festive traditions of Kokona, visitors to Nasarawa State are sure to be captivated by the beauty and charm of these fascinating villages. Discover the diverse cultures and traditions of villages in Nasarawa State, Nigeria, from the warm hospitality of Toto to the vibrant markets of Nasarawa Egan. Explore the unique architecture of Doma and the festive celebrations of Kokona in this captivating journey through the heart of Nasarawa State. Exploring the rich heritage of Akwa Ibom villages and cultures. Welcome to the vibrant world of Akwa Ibom villages and cultures. Nestled in the southern part of Nigeria, Akwa Ibom is a treasure trove of traditions, customs, and history waiting to be discovered. From colorful festivals to unique culinary delights, there is so much to explore in this culturally rich region. The beauty of Akwa Ibom villages, the villages of Akwa Ibom are a sight to behold, with the picturesque landscapes and traditional architecture. Each village has its own unique charm, from the bustling markets of Uyo to the serene fishing communities along the coast. The people of Akwa Ibom take great pride in their villages, and you can see this reflected in the well-maintained homes and lush gardens that line the streets. The warm hospitality of the locals, one of the most striking aspects of Akwa Ibom villages is the warm hospitality of the locals. Visitors are welcomed with open arms and treated like family from the moment they arrive. Whether you are invited to a traditional ceremony or simply sharing a meal with a local family, you will be made to feel right at home. This sense of community and togetherness is what makes Akwa Ibom villages truly special. The rich cultural heritage. Akwa Ibom is home to a diverse range of cultures, each with its own unique traditions and customs. From the vibrant dance performances of the Abibio people to the intricate beadwork of the Anang tribe, there is so much to learn and experience in this culturally rich region. The people of Akwa Ibom take great pride in their heritage, and you can see this reflected in the colorful festivals and ceremonies that take place throughout the year. The delicious cuisine. No visit to Akwa Ibom villages would be complete without sampling the delicious local cuisine. From spicy soups and stews to fresh seafood and tropical fruits, the food in this region is a true delight for the senses. Be sure to try specialties like Afang soup, Edekang Akong, and Ekpang in Kukwo for a taste of authentic Akwa Ibom flavors. The traditional festivals, Akwa Ibom is known for its vibrant festivals, which are a celebration of the region's rich cultural heritage. From the Ekpe festival of the Efik people to the New Yam festival of the Abibio tribe, there is always something to celebrate in this lively region. These festivals are a feast for the senses, with colorful costumes, lively music, and traditional dances that will leave you mesmerized. The arts and crafts, the people of Akwa Ibom are known for their skilled craftsmanship, producing a wide range of traditional arts and crafts. From intricately woven baskets and colorful textiles to hand-carved wooden masks and sculptures, the artistry of this region is truly impressive. Be sure to visit local markets and craft shops to pick up some unique souvenirs to take home with you. Preserving the heritage, as modernization continues to spread across Nigeria, there is a growing effort to preserve the rich heritage of Akwa Ibom villages and cultures. Local communities are working to document and protect their traditions, ensuring that future generations will be able to experience the beauty and richness of this region. By supporting local artisans and attending cultural events, visitors can help to ensure that the heritage of Akwa Ibom continues to thrive. Conclusion, Akwa Ibom villages and cultures are a true treasure waiting to be discovered. From the warm hospitality of the locals to the vibrant festivals and delicious cuisine, there is so much to explore in this culturally rich region. Whether you are a history buff, a foodie, or simply looking for a unique travel experience, Akwa Ibom has something to offer everyone. So pack your bags, immerse yourself in the beauty of this region, and get ready for an unforgettable journey through the villages and cultures of Akwa Ibom. Discover the vibrant world of Akwa Ibom villages and cultures in Nigeria, from traditional festivals to delicious cuisine and warm hospitality. Explore the rich heritage of this culturally diverse region. Exploring the rich cultural diversity of villages in Taraba State. Taraba State, located in the northeastern region of Nigeria, is home to a plethora of vibrant villages, each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the colorful festivals to the traditional dances and cuisine, the villages in Taraba State offer a glimpse into the rich cultural tapestry of the region. Let's take a closer look at some of these villages and their respective cultures. 1. Jilingo, the capital city with a blend of cultures. Jilingo, the capital city of Taraba State, is a melting pot of cultures from various ethnic groups such as the Yukon, Fulani, and Hausa. 
The city is known for its bustling markets, where you can find a variety of traditional crafts and textiles. The people of Jalingo are known for their hospitality and love for music and dance, with the annual Jalingo Cultural Festival being a highlight of the city's cultural calendar. 2. Wakari, the land of the Kwararafa Kingdom. Wakari is a historic town in Turaba State, known for being the former capital of the Kwararafa Kingdom. The people of Wakari are predominantly Yukon, and their culture is deeply rooted in tradition. The town is famous for its traditional wrestling matches, known as Nunu, which are a display of strength and skill. The Wakari Cultural Festival is a celebration of the town's rich history and heritage, featuring traditional dances, music, and food. 3. Bali, a haven for traditional arts and crafts. Bali is a picturesque town in Turaba State, known for its vibrant arts and crafts scene. The people of Bali are skilled artisans, known for their intricate beadwork, pottery, and weaving. The town is also famous for its traditional dance performances, which are a colorful display of the local culture. The Bali Arts and Crafts Festival is a must-visit event, where you can witness the creativity and talent of the local artisans. 4. Takam, the home of the Chumba people. Takam is a charming town in Taraba State, known for being the homeland of the Chumba people. The Chumba are known for their unique cultural practices, including the Nding dance, which is performed during important ceremonies and festivals. The town is also famous for its traditional architecture, with many houses built in the traditional Chumba style. The Takam Cultural Festival is a celebration of the town's heritage, featuring traditional music, dance, and storytelling. 5. Donga, a cultural oasis in the heart of Taraba State. Donga is a scenic town in Taraba State, known for its lush landscapes and rich cultural heritage. The people of Donga are predominantly Tiv, and their culture is characterized by colorful festivals and traditional ceremonies. The Donga Cultural Festival is a vibrant celebration of the town's culture, featuring traditional dances, music, and food. Donga is also known for its traditional wrestling matches, which are a popular form of entertainment for the locals. 6. Gembu, the gateway to the Mambilla Plateau. Gembu is a picturesque town in Taraba State, known for being the gateway to the stunning Mambilla Plateau. The people of Gembu are predominantly Mambilla, and their culture is deeply rooted in tradition. The town is famous for its traditional architecture, with many houses built in the traditional Mambilla style. The Gembu Cultural Festival is a celebration of the town's heritage, featuring traditional music, dance, and cuisine. 7. Zing, a hidden gem in Taraba State. Zing is a hidden gem in Taraba State, known for its serene landscapes and rich cultural heritage. The people of Zing are predominantly Kateb, and their culture is characterized by colorful festivals and traditional ceremonies. The town is famous for its traditional dance performances, which are a vibrant display of the local culture. The Zing Cultural Festival is a must-visit event, where you can experience the beauty and diversity of the town's culture. 8. Ibi, a town steeped in history and tradition. Ibi is a historic town in Taraba State, known for its rich history and cultural heritage. The people of Ibi are predominantly Yukon, and their culture is deeply rooted in tradition. The town is famous for its traditional crafts, including pottery and beadwork. The Ibi Cultural Festival is a celebration of the town's heritage, featuring traditional music, dance, and storytelling. Ibi is also home to the famous Mungo Park Cenotaph, a monument dedicated to the Scottish explorer who visited the town in the 19th century. 9. Lao, a cultural haven in Taraba State. Lao is a cultural haven in Taraba State, known for its vibrant arts and crafts scene. The people of Lao are skilled artisans, known for their intricate beadwork, pottery, and weaving. The town is also famous for its traditional dance performances, which are a colorful display of the local culture. The Lao Arts and Crafts Festival is a must-visit event, where you can witness the creativity and talent of the local artisans. In conclusion, the villages in Taraba State are a treasure trove of cultural diversity and tradition. Each village has its own unique culture and heritage, making Taraba State a fascinating destination for cultural enthusiasts. Whether you're exploring the bustling markets of Jalingo or witnessing the traditional dances of Wakari, the villages in Taraba State offer a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Nigerian culture. Discover the vibrant cultures of villages in Taraba State, from the traditional dances of Wakari to the arts and crafts of Bali. Explore the rich cultural diversity of Taraba State in Nigeria. Exploring the rich cultural tapestry of villages in Plateau State.
Nestled in the heart of Nigeria, Plateau State is home to a diverse array of villages, each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the bustling markets of Jos to the serene hills of Riam, the villages of Plateau State offer a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Nigerian heritage. In this blog post, we will take a closer look at some of the most fascinating villages in Plateau State and the respective cultures that make them so special. The vibrant village of Jos. One of the most well-known villages in Plateau State is Jos, the bustling capital city. Known for its vibrant markets and bustling streets, Jos is a melting pot of cultures and traditions. The city is home to a diverse population, with residents hailing from all corners of Nigeria and beyond. The bustling markets of Jos are a sight to behold, with vendors selling everything from fresh produce to traditional crafts. Visitors to Jos can sample local delicacies, explore the city's historic sites, and immerse themselves in the vibrant culture of this bustling village. The Serene Hills of Riam For those seeking a more tranquil experience, the village of Riam offers a peaceful retreat amidst the rolling hills of Plateau State. Known for its stunning natural beauty, Riam is a haven for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. The village is home to lush forests, sparkling rivers, and breathtaking vistas, making it the perfect destination for those looking to escape the hustle and bustle of city life. Visitors to Riam can hike through the hills, swim in the crystal clear waters, and immerse themselves in the serene beauty of this idyllic village. The colorful festivals of Bark and Lardi. Another must-visit village in Plateau State is Bark and Lardi, known for its vibrant festivals and colorful celebrations. The village is home to a rich cultural heritage, with residents celebrating traditional customs and rituals throughout the year. One of the most popular festivals in Bark and Lardi is the Nzemberam Festival, which celebrates the harvest season and gives thanks to the gods for a bountiful crop. During the festival, villagers dress in traditional attire, perform traditional dances, and partake in feasts of local delicacies. Visitors to Bark and Lardi can witness these colorful celebrations firsthand and experience the rich cultural traditions of this vibrant village. The Traditional Crafts of Mangu For those interested in traditional crafts and artisanal goods, the village of Mangu is a must-visit destination. Known for its skilled craftsmen and women, Mangu is a hub of creativity and craftsmanship. The village is home to artisans who specialize in a wide range of traditional crafts, including pottery, weaving, and beadwork. Visitors to Mangu can watch these talented artisans at work, purchase handmade goods, and learn about the traditional techniques passed down through generations. The village is also home to a bustling market where visitors can shop for unique souvenirs and support local artisans. The culinary delights of Langtang. No visit to Plateau State would be complete without sampling the culinary delights of the village of Langtang. Known for its delicious cuisine and unique flavors, Langtang is a food lover's paradise. The village is home to a wide range of traditional dishes, including suya, jollof rice, and pounded yam. Visitors to Langtang can dine at local restaurants, sample street food from vendors, and immerse themselves in the rich culinary traditions of this vibrant village. The village is also home to bustling markets where visitors can purchase fresh produce, spices, and other ingredients to recreate traditional dishes at home. The historic sites of Shendam. History buffs will delight in exploring the village of Shendam, home to a wealth of historic sites and landmarks. The village is steeped in history, with ancient ruins, colonial era buildings, and archaeological sites waiting to be discovered. Visitors to Shendam can explore the ruins of the old city walls, visit the colonial era government buildings, and learn about the village's rich history through guided tours and exhibits. The village is also home to a museum where visitors can view artifacts and exhibits related to the village's past, making it a must-visit destination for those interested in history and culture. The traditional dances of Pankshan. For those looking to experience the vibrant music and dance traditions of Plateau State, the village of Pankshan is the place to be. Known for its lively music scene and traditional dance performances, Pankshan is a hub of cultural activity. The village is home to talented musicians, dancers, and performers who showcase traditional dances and music at festivals and events throughout the year. Visitors to Pankshan can attend live performances, participate in dance workshops, and immerse themselves in the rich musical traditions of this vibrant village. The village is also home to music schools and cultural centers where visitors can learn about traditional music and dance styles. The Natural Wonders of Canem Nature lovers will be in awe of the natural wonders of the village of Canem, known for its stunning landscapes and breathtaking vistas. The village is home to lush forests, sparkling rivers, and rolling hills, 
making it the perfect destination for outdoor enthusiasts. Visitors to Canem can hike through the forests, swim in the rivers, and explore the village's natural beauty. The village is also home to wildlife reserves and conservation areas where visitors can spot a wide range of plant and animal species, making it a must-visit destination for those looking to connect with nature. The warm hospitality of Kwan Pan. Last but not least, the village of Kwan Pan is known for its warm hospitality and welcoming atmosphere. The village is home to friendly residents who are eager to share their culture and traditions with visitors. Visitors to Kwan Pan can stay in traditional guest houses, dine with local families, and participate in cultural activities and events. The village is also home to community centers and cultural organizations that host workshops, performances, and other events that showcase the rich heritage of the village. Visitors to Kwan Pan will be greeted with open arms and treated to a warm and welcoming experience that will leave a lasting impression. In conclusion, the villages of Plateau State offer a diverse array of cultures, traditions, and experiences for visitors to explore. From the bustling markets of Joss to the serene hills of Riem, each village has its own unique charm and character that make it a must-visit destination. Whether you're interested in history, culture, nature, or cuisine, there is something for everyone to discover in the villages of Plateau State. So pack your bags, hit the road, and embark on a journey through the rich cultural tapestry of Plateau State. Discover the diverse cultures and traditions of the villages in Plateau State, Nigeria, from the vibrant markets of Joss to the serene hills of Riem. Explore the culinary delights of Langtang, the historic sites of Shendam, and the traditional dances of Pangshan. Immerse yourself in the rich cultural tapestry of Plateau State, exploring the rich cultural tapestry of Kaduna villages. Kaduna, a state in Nigeria, is home to a diverse array of villages, each with its own unique culture and traditions. From the bustling markets of Zaria to the serene landscapes of Kafanchan, Kaduna villages offer a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Nigerian heritage. Let's take a closer look at some of these villages and the vibrant cultures that define them. Zaria, known as the cultural capital of Kaduna, Zaria is a bustling city with a rich history dating back centuries. The city is home to the famous Emir's Palace, a stunning example of traditional Hausa architecture. Zaria is also known for its vibrant markets, where locals gather to buy and sell everything from fresh produce to handmade crafts. The city is a melting pot of cultures, with influences from the Hausa, Fulani, and Igbo peoples. Kafanchan, nestled in the picturesque hills of southern Kaduna, Kafanchan is a peaceful village known for its stunning natural beauty. The village is home to the Kagoro people, who are known for their intricate beadwork and colorful traditional attire. Kafanchan is also famous for its annual Inzem Berem festival, a celebration of the village's cultural heritage. Visitors to Kafanchan can explore the surrounding countryside, hike through lush forests, and learn about the traditions of the Kagoro people. Kagako, located in the heart of Kaduna State, Kagako is a village steeped in tradition and history. The village is home to the Bagi people, who are known for their vibrant music and dance traditions. Kagako is also famous for its traditional pottery, which is crafted using techniques passed down through generations. Visitors to Kagako can immerse themselves in the village's rich cultural heritage, attend traditional ceremonies, and sample delicious local cuisine. Khoi, situated in the northern part of Kaduna State, Khoi is a village known for its unique blend of cultures. The village is home to the Ham people, who are known for their colorful traditional attire and intricate beadwork. Khoi is also famous for its annual Inzem Berem festival, a celebration of the village's cultural heritage. Visitors to Khoi can explore the village's historic landmarks, including the ancient Khoi rock paintings, and learn about the traditions of the Ham people. Kaduna villages are a treasure trove of cultural heritage, each offering a unique glimpse into the diverse tapestry of Nigerian traditions. Whether you're exploring the bustling markets of Zaria or hiking through the lush forests of Kafanchan, there's something for everyone to discover in these vibrant villages. Discover the rich cultural tapestry of Kaduna villages, from the bustling markets of Zaria to the serene landscapes of Kafanchan. Explore the traditions of the Kagoro people in Kafanchan and the vibrant music and dance traditions of the Bagi people in Kagako. Immerse yourself in the unique blend of cultures in Khoi and experience the diverse tapestry of Nigerian heritage in Kaduna villages. Exploring the rich cultural heritage of villages in Ondo State. Ondo State, located in the southwestern part of Nigeria, is home to a diverse range of villages, each with its own unique culture and traditions. 
From the vibrant festivals to the traditional dances and cuisine, the villages in Ondo State offer a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of the Yoruba people. In this blog post, we will take a closer look at some of the villages in Ondo State and explore their respective cultures. The colorful festivals of Oo. One of the most famous villages in Ondo State is Oo, known for its colorful festivals and rich history. The people of Oo are known for their elaborate masquerades and traditional dances, which are a key part of the cultural heritage. The Oo people also have a unique way of dressing, with colorful beads and intricate designs adorning their clothing. The Oo people are proud of their heritage and are always eager to share their culture with visitors. The traditional cuisine of Akure. Akure is another village in Ondo State that is known for its rich cultural heritage. The people of Akure are known for their delicious cuisine, which includes dishes such as pounded yam, a gusi soup, and nakara. The people of Akure take great pride in their traditional cooking methods, using fresh ingredients and traditional spices to create mouth-watering dishes. Visitors to Akure can sample the local cuisine at one of the many restaurants in the village, or even try their hand at cooking traditional dishes with a local family. The Intricate Beadwork of Adanre Adanre is a village in Ondo State that is known for its intricate beadwork and traditional crafts. The people of Adanre are skilled artisans, creating beautiful beadwork that is used in traditional ceremonies and festivals. The beadwork of Adanre is known for its intricate designs and vibrant colors, and is highly prized by collectors around the world. Visitors to Adanre can watch local artisans at work, or even try their hand at creating their own beadwork under the guidance of a skilled craftsman. The Sacred Shrines of Ifan. Ifan is a village in Ondo State that is known for its sacred shrines and traditional religious practices. The people of Ifan are deeply spiritual, and their religious beliefs are an integral part of their culture. The Sacred Shrines of Ifan are places of worship and pilgrimage, where the people gather to pray and offer sacrifices to their gods. Visitors to Ifan can learn about the traditional religious practices of the village, and even participate in a traditional ceremony if they are invited by a local family. The traditional dances of Isle Aluji. Isle Aluji is a village in Ondo State that is known for its traditional dances and music. The people of Isle Aluji are skilled dancers, performing intricate routines that tell stories of their history and culture. The traditional dances of Isle Aluji are accompanied by live music, with drums and other traditional instruments providing the rhythm for the dances. Visitors to Isle Aluji can watch a traditional dance performance, or even join in the fun and learn some of the dance moves from a local instructor. The Ancient Art of Arele. Arele is a village in Ondo State that is known for its ancient art and traditional crafts. The people of Arele are skilled artisans, creating beautiful pottery, wood carvings, and textiles that are highly prized by collectors. The ancient art of Arele is passed down from generation to generation, with each family preserving their own unique style and techniques. Visitors to Arele can watch local artisans at work, or even purchase a piece of traditional art to take home as a souvenir of their visit. The Vibrant Markets of Ondo Ondo is a village in Ondo State that is known for its vibrant markets and bustling trade. The people of Ondo are skilled traders, selling a wide range of goods including textiles, spices, and traditional crafts. The markets of Ondo are a hive of activity, with vendors calling out to passersby and bargaining over prices. Visitors to Ondo can explore the markets and shop for unique souvenirs, or even try their hand at bargaining with a local vendor to get the best deal. The Traditional Architecture of Alaje Alaje is a village in Ondo State that is known for its traditional architecture and unique building styles. The people of Alaje are skilled builders, using locally sourced materials such as mud bricks and thatch to construct their homes and buildings. The traditional architecture of Alaje is characterized by its intricate designs and decorative elements, with each building reflecting the cultural heritage of the village. Visitors to Alaje can explore the traditional architecture of the village, and even stay in a traditional mud brick house to experience the local way of life. The warm hospitality of Ondo State. One thing that all the villages in Ondo State have in common is their warm hospitality and friendly welcome to visitors. The people of Ondo State are known for their kindness and generosity, and are always eager to share their culture and traditions with guests. Whether you are sampling the local cuisine, watching a traditional dance performance, or exploring the markets, you are sure to be greeted with a smile and a warm welcome in the villages of Ondo State. Discover the vibrant festivals, traditional cuisine, intricate beadwork, and warm hospitality of the villages in Ondo State. Explore the rich cultural heritage of Oo, Akure, Adanre, Ifan, Isle Aluji, Arele, 
Ondo, Alarje, and more. Thank you for watching Guaji channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.